Alrighty, I have returned with coffee. Kirby is on my lap. He's all wet. He spent time outside in the snow. He got like cool four inches of snow last night. Clockwork Ouroboros is just trying to hype the channel right now. I appreciate it, dude. Is it 10 minutes yet? I want to play game. <gasps> it is 10 minutes. I get to play game. Let's go. This is what the streaming really is. Is it my excuse to play a vanilla run and not work on mod guides? <laughs> All right, let's get ourselves positioned over real quick. There we go. There we go. Having fun is important. Yeah, I gotta just turn down the music just a smidge. Can you, I hope you guys can still hear the music. I just want to be able to hear the game a little bit today. There we go. I was just, I want you doing YouTube full time so I get to watch more cotton and lighted self-interest. <laughs> oh man, had a burp coming in. Oh, there it is. I can feel my chest explode. These weird rough burps. <laughs> Too much sharing. It's all right. So where we left off yesterday, we were building these rooms here. We are finishing up the brain sucking room. The walls are done. Uh, the reason it was taking forever was because I was dumb and it was set to build limestone wall and we we're sitting here carving up hundreds of marble, which uh, I guess we get. they get to have beautiful walls now in the brain room. Yeah, they get one beauty per wall tile. Uh, we've we finished this traps here. Um, honestly, the the usefulness of these traps is starting to the the uselessness of them is starting to wear on me. Did you see how many we're replacing each time? How long it takes to do? It's ridiculous. So I guess we could technically have two more constructoids built, which actually isn't a bad plan. Yeah, we can make another constructoid. Uh, that's not constructed. This is constructed. Tur currently making a Militor in that one, I think. I think this one's got stuff in it, too. Yeah, go. Go make more constructed. More builder bots. One beauty per wall seems low for marble. Yeah, especially when Jade, that green, weird looking rock. I mean, I don't know what I have against Jade. I just don't like the way it looks. I don't want a green base. There's enough green on the map already. Makes the game more colorful if we have more variety of colors amongst our structures. You got 100 Jade from Tribals each raid. <laughs> a good wall should be able to do four and a half, four to five. Are you gonna smooth the walls? Are you gonna do smooth walls? How are you gonna go about that? How are you achieving that? All right, what do we got here? We got a few guys over here. What do we got them doing here? Uh, impets once again, uh, impets go down pretty easily. This one's already has a problem and he's lost some of his moving. Um, no melee ability. What is that? The steel spirit. So you're, you have the, oh, oh, my bad. No shooting ability. Do, do, do. You got a bow, some shooting. Uh, no, oh, well, here's one problem. Rats could be potentially an issue. We'll try to capture rats alive. We'll try to capture Sonovo alive too. Let's take a look through here. Work it out, I suggest you world it out. Oh. <laughs> Either we are getting a lot of names or meat is back on the menu. Uh, I'm aiming for a lot of names. Um, having a, a chef that can cook fine meals, I know we'd have to do some work for that, but uh, having a, a secondary option to eating nutrient paste all the time that's gonna give more mood buffs. Just more reduction of risk to pawns being upset. You know. Let's see here. Do do do. 
12 crafting, can always use more crafters, and another doctor, of course. Are you, are you a night owl? No. You're also abrasive and sickly. That's... All right, we're going to kill Sonovo. There's too, too many not goods in one go. Non-caring, delicate pawn. All right, so you're going to go down right away. Hard worker and greedy. Greedy is always a pain in the butt. You want to tuck your head in my arm, Kirby? Kirby, get tucked in. Tuck in, Kirby. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I believe there's only rats here. Yep, all right. Can't wait to poison some meals. <laughs> all right, let's head over to the mechs here. Everybody indoors. All of our animals. We'll put them inside too. The Piers is already inside. Greedy pawns go in the boiler room. We'll see how far these guys get. Looks like they're gonna take their time getting set up at first, so. They do have an animal with them. Or maybe they don't have animal with them. Oh, here they come. All right, who went down? <laughs> do, do, do. I think they all died. I don't think we have any uh, living injuries here. Alright, orders. Let's go ahead and allow everything real quick. This is why I was saying replacing these traps all the time is wearing on me. <laughs> we didn't even see them. The only thing the Kalos are going to see is that there's just more bodies in the pit, in the hole in the wall. Can't wait to get these rooms finished up. Oh, it'll be so nice. So nice. Matasia, you didn't even get to live. <laughs> you comfortable, Kirby? You comfortable, Mr. Lap Corgi? Man, you're getting big. You know, you've gotten to sit on my lap your whole life, but you're getting to get so big these days, you almost don't fit on my lap anymore. I have to, like, flex my legs crisscross applesauce to keep you from sliding off. It's a workout letting you sit on me. <laughs> you are useful. You make components. <laughs> Want me to give you a snack? Can you eat a snack on my lap? Here you go, buddy. Here you go. Give me a treat. <laughs> He's just staring at me. It's all right, Carboard. Alrighty. Oh, I, I oh push-ups. Kirby's taking a nap on my lap. Someone keep count. I'll have to do them all at once when he gets up. How does that sound? It will be much greater suffering. I don't want to disturb the bread loaf. I know. I know it's not what I promised, but Kirby's so cute when he naps. Doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna be so happy to have the extra constructoid going. Come on, come on. Get in there. Do that glass constructoid. We'll do them all, no disturbing the puppy. <laughs> he'll probably get up eventually. He'll hear something happen upstairs and he'll decide he's slept long enough and it's time to go have fun. We're getting all this done. Two more constructoids is all I asked for. That's all we really need. Uh, today on the bucket list, um, we are fighting a Diabolus this stream. It's going to happen. Uh, when will it happen? Honestly, as soon as we get this stuff repaired here, we can probably call it in. We have enough combatants to kill that thing at the moment uh, I don't have any EMP grenades so actually let me let me take back what I said real quick let me make that and then we can, then we can go fight them let me uh do 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 put that boop, 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 boop. and if you would 
who is our crafter here? Who is our local crafty boy? Billy! Why haven't we queued you for things, Billy? You're amazing. Why don't you craft for me? Get better at art, too. What is it? I don't want anybody to cook. I guess someone has to cook Psykite, so I guess we'll leave that at a four. Handling. We don't really keep any animals. Uh, wardening. Leave that at a two for the people that can do it. But we'll put it at three for the rest so we don't let anybody starve. We need to free a hand curb word so I can shift quick. Bloop. Child care is always important. So is firefighting and being a patient. Put you at a two for medical. Everybody else is at a three. Bed rest will be at a three. I don't want you guys to try to mine at all, really. Don't really care for it. You've been stuck on your computer chair because your PTSD cat had you pick her up and was sleeping on your shoulder. <laughs> of course, you would be good at childcare. I don't want anybody to bother with cleaning or hauling. We've hauling at a four in case a task calls for it. I'll put four for research on you guys in case you have absolutely nothing else to do. But we're done with that now. Done messing with it. Uh, what happened here? Did our night shifter die? What happened last stream? Does anybody remember? The schedule doesn't look right. Actually, I didn't do it right to begin with. Bloop. Guys are probably not getting enough sleep, were you? Let me check someone's sleep real quick. Someone that's not asleep. Oh, I guess you don't need to sleep. We need more circadian half cyclers. You wish your dog sat on your lap? I hope that happens for you. I also wish you have a Mastiff while you're trying to do that. <laughs> oh, it was Mark that was the night worker. Okay. That makes more sense. Why is there corn in here? This isn't the corn vault. Get that hauling fixed up. Oh, it's because we ran out of room over here. We need another corn vault. I guess we could start going through this stuff a bit faster too somehow. Oh, that's right. It will be solved when this room's built. That's that's what I was going to do last stream. I remember now. All the plans coming together. How is this going? 1.3 days left on that. 2.2 left on that. We have all the silver and steel down here that needs to be hauled. Does he have room for one more bot? We'll get one more lifter out of him. I know a lot of guys, a lot of you guys prefer to just get a bunch of military bots. Pawns are still the better combatants, right? So I just love to get all the the mediocre the mediocre tasks managed by bots. Uh, it's my favorite thing. So you imagine when you get late game mechanitor and you just have a crap ton of constructoids and agrahands and lifters and stuff, your colony runs like a machine. It does, it does, because you end up getting like 30 mechs. And then this isn't a mess up here. Everybody up here just becomes the, t the terminators that you're honing. And then I've only ever had two mechanators in one run. Have you guys ever gotten to three? I only ever got the quest one time after starting with a, a, mecha a mechanitor. So I was only able to get up to two mech lords in one run. Dude, I'd love to be able to get three, but it seems like the game's like hard-coded to make sure, you know, you can't have more than two. It already doesn't want to let you have two. They add more raid points than they can handle. That makes total sense. Only ever gotten two mech lords. What are my favorite parts of the new updates? All right, I'll show them to you right now. Let's you open up this right here. You hit Z, you see that thing on the bottom of the screen? All the corn. I want to find my sub core, right? Maybe I want to find a rifle, right? 
We have a bio coated over here in the water. We have one in the shelf here and another one in the shelf here. Being able to just find stuff that way, game changer, right off the gate. The other thing, some of this room is bridge, some of it's wood floor. You can't tell. Someone was complaining yesterday they didn't like it, but I love it. I love it. I love the consistency. And honestly, I don't know why there wasn't more texture options before to switch between them two. I don't know why we weren't given the option to have two different kinds of bridges. Maybe we are. Maybe I'm dumb. No, there's not. You can only have the one kind. I think what I would have done, maybe someone can make a, a quick mod for it, is that there's two kinds of bridge and one is the old texture, one is the, the current new texture, you know? Uh, the other thing is when you are building something, say when I'm building this and it takes a crap ton of skill, you'd think one pawn would just walk back and forth forever to build the whole thing, but right now, as a base game, they will all haul together and multiple pawns will bring steel at one time and it'll get that done. That is a great bonus. Uh, Tinctoria plants, so ones you guys used to make die, right? They now have a lifespan of 12 days instead of 6, so you have more time to harvest them. Uh, what else is new? Uh, yeah, the wall lights. I really like those. Having books. Uh, we got books in here. I really like having the books. You see this? Like, auto doors already unlocked. You just kind of unlocked it by reading. It's really nice. Really appreciate that. Every, every time they release an update for this game, everybody complains they added all the QL mods. I don't complain. Because by adding the mods to base game, Every other mod is forced to be compatible. <laughs> you, you see how this works? <laughs> There's a fire popper in here, look. We'll replace it with stone later. That's one thing that hasn't happened yet, is replace stuff is not vanilla. Why, Tynan? Give, give me. You could release so many updates if you just incorporated the most popular mods into the game. Oh, Godonia, how's it going? You are still our glorious leader. It's been a while since we've seen you. Uh, you have gained abilities. You've gained status. You're a yeoman now. Uh, you definitely complain still. You're a bit whiny, but that's okay. You, you think it's great when they add QL mods to vanilla. Eventually, I'd like to see a room world where I don't feel come to install 20 plus QOL mods. Yeah, I know the funny thing is I would always tell everyone I won't play the game without uh, color-coded mood bars. And in this update, they became base game and glowy so they're easier to see. Tynan has answered my wishes. He, he has come to make me the happiest RimWorld YouTuber and made really easily visible color-coded mood bars for me. I had eye surgery last year, and so seeing stuff's tough. And a lot of what these new mods do, including like the, the room lights and stuff, which I know it seems really simple, but being able to get them around and have less clutter really helps for someone who's kind of visually handicapped like I am. So it's just all great. It's great. I love it. Zero complaints. 10 out of 10. Good update. Uh, having the organ rot uh, is a new thing that I know people will complain about it because you can't cure it. But you know what it does is it adds more purpose to organ harvesting than just selling people's organs. It's for fixing bad organs. I know right now it'd be like your pawn got a kidney shot. Your pawn got like a kidney shot out, you know? Then you'd swap it there. But now it's like if you have like a heart, you can give them a new heart and stuff like that. It makes more sense. Yeah, pawn rendering is multi-threaded for stability. It's way better for having larger colonies. I feel like you you really need that because, uh, in the, well, what it tells me is if they did that, that means they probably ran into a problem while making the DLC that forced them to enhance the game's stability to make whatever their grand idea was work. So I can only imagine what atrocities we're going to run into at the DLC that it, they needed to uh, fix game performance to make it possible. <laughs> I mean, some people would say they would have did that a while ago, but it's been 16 months since, like, a big update, right? So, <laughs> just saying, you know. Can only can only guess and wonder at this point. With all the big optimizations and changes, I, I have a big, big inkling that Anomaly is going to be the largest, by far, DLC period. I mean, honestly, if you look at all the DLCs that have been released so far and the contents of them, the DLCs have become bigger and bigger packages. 
with each one you get. Like royalty had some new bionics in it and then the faction, right? And you could get the, the Psywink powers and stuff. All right, cool. Then ideology comes out, right? Suddenly there's all the ideal widgeons. You have the ideology structures and stuff and the Garrowin trees. Cool. Biotech comes out. Now you have the whole vampire tree, make controlling mechs and becoming a mechanitor, right? And and the, the waste pack system and all that. That was a lot of stuff that got added with biotech. Biotech is big. Biotech was thick. And looking at all the pictures for Anomaly, there is way more going on there just in like the news posts than we have on the Steam pages of any of the other DLCs combined. So Anomaly is just humongous from just looking for what the deal to is huge. I mean, I know some people don't want to do a horror run, but my goodness. So if anybody ever asked me what order to buy the DLCs in, I would say to buy them in the reverse order that they were released. <laughs> ba most bang for your buck to least bang for your buck. RimWorld 2 is, oh my gosh. I know something that we're never going to get is proper Z levels. The game just wasn't coded for it. If there ever is a Rimworld 2, I think that would be one of the main things that happened. But at that point, if Rimworld got proper Z levels, it it would just be the best Dwarf Fortress ever. <laughs> it would be complete. Being able to shoot from up high, down low. Oh, the amount of new strategy you guys would run into. Deliciousness. It's too tasty. It's too tasty, the thought of it. That's why it won't happen. <laughs> Mr. Pedro, can I get a new bedroom? Mine's smaller than the prisoner, so. <laughs> None of the other rooms are done yet. If How about this? If you finish one of the rooms, you can have it. I mean, you will get one of these rooms. I guess this one's done. It needs a door, though. Where are you at, Pedro? Go build door. You can't? There's no wood? I guess you're not getting a room. Who's going to be upset? Is that you, Petro? Petro? I just remembered why Petro doesn't have a nice bedroom. You want to know why Petro doesn't get to have a nice bedroom? It's because Petro believes things that are just incorrect. Petro doesn't like slaughtering animals. He thinks cutting trees is bad. And he doesn't think animals should be eaten. He doesn't even want to mine. And the crazy thing about Petro being disapproving of mining is that he's got level 15 mining. What's wrong with him? It doesn't make any sense. Petro, what's wrong? with Answer me. <laughs> you get to stay in the broom closet by the machining table. Till we fix you. You can join us in the cool gang when your head works right. <laughs> this production line is addicted to steel. Absolutely, when the stream's over, Gudonia, we can definitely do that. It's taking so long to build this ornate door. How many more work bits left? 300 work, and it's on the last tile. How much work is it to build this thing? Holy cow! How much work is it to build a ship reactor? I can't remember. <laughs> Does anybody remember how many work it is to build a ship reactor in this game? Yo, Neo Warp, you got Shea. Welcome to the club, Shea. Who was it that wanted to be the Yakin? Shea, Shea, Shea. Piers, you never heard of Norwin? I don't know, maybe we might stream some Norwind. When it comes out. Templar. Raging Ryan wants to be next pawn. 
Do we have any more people who are busy recruiting at the moment? Fifteen or so minutes of work. Oh my goodness. Get the next constructoid out. Come on now. It's right there. The tribe of Kemabar. All right, let's look at factions. My left eye is giving me trouble. What's their faction again? Tribe of Camber. Kembar. I don't see them on here. I don't think we've met each other yet. You also don't seem to be anyone nearby. 65,000 ticks? Oh, God. Ugh. You'd spend two in-game years building that thing. <laughs> Double door with sprinkled gold. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's a complicated door. It's definitely way more work than a normal door. I mean, how much work is a normal door to build? 25 work? No, it's 25 waiver. 81 work to build. So this door is like building uh, 20 other doors. I have Baratron. I played it. I just don't play it on my channel. There's a lot of games that I play that I don't play on the channel because I don't think people will watch them and I'm afraid the AI overlord of the algorithm will bully me and punish me for doing something different. <laughs> Put some hinges on a wooden plant and you got a door. <laughs> oh, hey, we gotta fix these bots, dude. Did I take you off smithing? You're not off smithing. Come on over here, fix this guy. Help him. What are you doing, Piers? Why are you inside? When did we get a muffalo stuck in here? Should we hunt it in the bedroom? Hunt the buffalo, the muffalo in the bedroom? <laughs> All right, so that's done. Math ain't mathing. You read a piece about how one badly, yeah, exactly. Tame it and sacrifice it to the gods. We'll give. We'll make that. Uh, we'll make that Templar's job. We do need a pack animal for selling stuff. Oh, the other thing that wasn't in the change logs that's base game now is when you have notifications up here, you can right click on them and they go away. That's base game now. There used to be a mod for that. I said tame. Oh, I I said hunt, didn't I? Well, you are now gonna get hunted, Petro. Petro the Hunted. Uh. It'll calm down after a while. <laughs> it's attacking our bots, guys.
problem solved. <laughs> Check the Muffalo's log. <laughs> The Muffalo's head was damaged by Petro's charge shot. The Muffalo was shot by Petro's charge shot. Missed while trying to jab the Muffalo. Oh, the Muffalo just got shot a bunch of times. It just got shot and shot and shot. <laughs> when you misclick and shoot the wrong animal. I wanted to tame it. We needed a hauling animal. Is there a different buffalo on the map we can tame? Do 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 do. I don't believe so. There's no other hauling animals available. That was a grand mistake. A grand old mistake right there. Let's just uh, reinstall this bed over here. Yep. Hey, look at that. Bunch of jade. I'll take that. Make a fence with it or something. Major break risk. What are you upset about? You and your rotting corpses. The glorious green stuff. Mm. Piers, you're you're a guinea pig that is stuck in a room. Destined to die again unless someone opens that door. Oh no, you can open doors on your own. What a what a smart guinea pig you are. Why is Reaper following the guinea pig around? Why are you training? You're at level four handling. Research is your number one. It's because Neo Warp's at the table over here. Okay. So you have nothing better to do but mess with the animal? Not to plant? Nothing else? Nothing? What if I allow sowing? Now you should be planting. But you're not going to. What are you going to do now? Oh, because Neo Warp's done researching. Okay, okay. I see how it is. They're playing tag. <laughs> oh, bulk goods trader. Do do do. Well, you want some corn? Do they have any books? I'd love a book. You guys got any books? Got schematic on harps. All right, what do we got here? This will train some medical up to level eight. Good for recreation. I want both your books. What else can we get from you? They do have a lot of Nutramine. <laughs> We'll sell them 2,000 corn and some buffalo meat, some animal meats. And some bug meat. Might as well. Yeah, these sculptures turned out pretty bad. They can have those too. Sell them some ambrosia. A lizard skin hat and that synth thread hat. We don't need any kid shirts, there's no children. Poor dusters will make new ones. 
make some new parkas too. Small amounts of uh, leathers here, not enough for making anything. So I think the cataphract armor was 4,500 last time we checked, right? 100 euros, dang. Yeah, it's expensive. Oh, giga poor guy. Tainted apparels indeed sold for pennies. You have the go frenzy inspiration. <laughs> Petro, you're gonna go on a go frenzy? Oh man, am I ready to lose a colonist? This just doesn't sound like a bright idea. This book is awesome though. Look at it, it gives artistic and medical skill at the same time. 156 per hour for each. And then this one just smacks up the recreation really good. We will slowly acquire a library. It will be worth it. Is there anything else I can unload on you guys? I'll say you Jade. I'll keep the white weather for the kill box. Bunch of unfertilized eggs. Bunch of unfertilized duck eggs. Extra rice. Let me sell them peers. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I guess we'll get the colony dog. A dog for the colony. I like that. We now have a pet dog. Tasia wants to be dog. <laughs> no horses for the caravan? You know what? That's fair. That's super valid. You think I should let him fight the Mega Sloth? <laughs> My goodness. Okay. You know what? We'll do what you guys want to do. Everybody inside. That was a dog, not a pawn. Is a pawn equivalent to a dog? What are you doing? Your death wish comes true. I hope Petra doesn't actually think I'm going to let him die out here. We're getting all the bots out. We'll kill a Mega Sloth, but then we'll try to fix it, and then Templar will try to make it happy again. 
You need to get over that rotting corpse thing, Tempor. Come now. This is so dumb. All right, that's enough, Petra. Run away. There you go. It's dead. We killed it. Are you happy now? Do you feel accomplished? What did it ever do to you? What did it ever do? <laughs> I'm putting down Mega Sloths out here. Piers rigged, check logs. All right, so the Mega Sloth got shot a whole lot of times, according to this. Sounds like it took a whole lot of bullets. <laughs> Someone will butcher it here soon. What's the meat from a Mega Sloth anyways? Do, 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 do. 370. Mega Sloth is food. Mega Sloth is almost... Uh, it is a whole quatrum of food for one pawn. Anyways, uh, on the topic of our animals, they all need a great deal of training. Let's go over to structure here. We have more marble. Do it out of marble. A little pen for the animals out here. Nah, Petra, you couldn't kill me. <laughs> Almost done up here. Get those linked up, go to storage. Clear them all, make them chem fuel only. Then we'll come down to these and we'll make sure chem fuel is not allowed in any of these. There we go. Solves that problem, makes that pretty easy. Now we can go over to the power here. Bills, add bill, make chem fuel from organics, and we will do it until we have a hundred. There we go. Today, Cassandra Classic sent you three roads in a, raids in a row. Very fun. Oh. <laughs> Cassandra kind of just builds up over time and then just starts walloping you a ton. Kirby, my foot is falling asleep. You don't care? You're going to sigh at me? I need to adjust. Oh. oh, my gosh. He didn't move at all. He is a loaf. 
a complete and total loaf. And I'm tired of waiting to go do the next thing, so we're gonna go this way. Gorm Caravan to go this way, yeah, except, yeah, what do we gotta sell? We don't have any... Where's our piles of stuff? Oh, it must be... Oh, we didn't grow more, did we? Because the agrihan has been cutting trees. Uh, who else is capable of being growing plants? You are. Plants, my sir. Clearly, this uh, particular plantation needs to be expanded a bit. Oh, that's also cycloid leaves, so that's good to know. You gotta make a human sacrifice to Cassandra to get her to quit for a second. <laughs> Uh, what should we do here? We need to build a second ornate door right here. I know. We're going to build our little uh, church right here. And I guess behind the church we'll build out and then build like the royal room. I know we were going to do it down here, but it just seems like this is all farming down here. It's just going to have to stay that way. Oh my gosh, we finished advanced fabrication. It took so long. Starfoy Basics is next, but we're like nowhere near messing with that right now. Let's scroll down here and look at the fun stuff. Like, uh, ahem, <clears throat> xenogenetics. Finally, the brain room can get work done. Now that we can comfortably make all the forms of components that we need in the game. <laughs> I guess mineral scanning's important, isn't it? That's the long range mineral scanner. Uh, deep drill. Give me a deep drill first. Sweet succulent wooden walls. Oh, there's fire foam poppers in the rooms that matter. The rest of this wood might get swapped another time. This will always be wood because it's bridged underneath and it can't support heavier stuff. You know why that carpet's never getting finished? Is because I never planted more cotton. Yep. <laughs> We might need to be uh, having a larger growth space here. I think that's might have to be a thing. The advanced components ready? Yeah, we can make it. We have a fabrication bench right here and we have a research so we can just craft them. Little one. Yo, Eldritch Gaming, thanks, I appreciate it. I was talking to Coco earlier and he didn't believe me when I told you guys we made it this far in a stream. Cause me and him played together one time and we died really quick. But I think me and him weren't very organized as teammates. <laughs> it's bio-coated. Okay. All right. All right. We need to start smelting all this bio-coated junk. And we need to move the hospital bed. This room is probably the cleanest. It's a better place for your uh, hospital bed. Oh, he's just going to have to get up. Oh, yeah. Yo, Mel, how it goes? How it goes? I accidentally clicked on chat and it made my window minimize. Oops. Oops. Where are you at, Reaper? Come fix this poor bot that moves at half a mile an hour. Yeah. Poor Clave. <laughs> All right, and go fix the, the lifter too. Then the Agrahan needs a repair real quick too. Go repair Clover real quick. There we go. Get all the bots in order. Um, 
for those of you that are wondering why I put three doors here, it's just all about pathing. Uh, and if they break out of their cells, they'll path into the kill box instead of in the base. It might be worthwhile for me to add another layer to the wall so they don't try to smash through the wall instead. The cost to path is whatever costs the least, right? So there's a potential here. It might be, they might think it's easier to just dig through a wall. All right. We will add a layer of wall. This is this is fair. Can't let them think they can escape. Definitely shouldn't be doing that. Looks like this door is just going to need to move down one. Oh, the pen's done. Let me uh, let me reinstall this down here then. I'll send you to do that real quick. Thank you. Good stuff. Now we can just round up all our animals out there. Templar's main priority is going to be handling animals. And when Templar is not handling animals, Templar is going to be our local artist. I think that works pretty good for us. What's your favorite thing about the update so far? I think books. Books are pretty OP, personally. I mean, if we have him read... Where is it at? This one right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, ordering pawns to read doesn't seem to work at the moment. I don't know what the deal is with that. It seems broken. They won't just sit down and read when they're ordered to. Yeah, you see how he just... There, so I, I don't know if it's bugged or if I did something wrong, but they definitely don't just like to do what they have to do. I know another Gowerlin. I see it. I see it. We'll harvest it. Graphic details of war crimes. I'm trying to think of how exactly I want to build this space up here. Kirby is such a good bread loaf. He is potato dog. You keep the surplus plasteel to upgrade the required walls, barricades, plus they're in the material for selling plate armor. What's up, Kirby? Word? You just comfortable? Is it just a good spot? Yeah. Perhaps it's just work priority immediately overriding it. There's a chance. It might fall under recreation depending on what it is. Uh, Vic, how many mods do you usually run? Because if you think vanilla feels cluttered, you ain't seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing. Especially since shelves have been added, you ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Chat, tell this man about how cluttered a game could be. <laughs> Enlighten them. Oh my goodness. Kind of feel like I want to get us some new songs for our uh, stream music here. It's perfect plus, that's an understatement after you thought about the word. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to start expanding this way. I guess there's water there, so maybe down this way. I guess that does make sense to go further south with the base building. It's kind of already opened up for us, so. 
Yeah, down or up. Going this way, we're getting all that water circled into the base. You had your screen blocked by your buildings at some points. <laughs> you can end up having a lot going on, this is true. Just let the game speed up. Let them finish some of this work for us real quick. You want a 1v1 a Mega Sloth again. How are you doing on your go juice right now, Petro? You know, it takes Nutramine to get this stuff, and Billy really needs it. If you make Billy run out of go juice, he's gonna beat you to death. I don't need to tell you what happened to Mark. There's no door on the backside? Oh, it's down here. Oh, you guys just don't have a quick way out of here. Okay, that's something to think about. This whole L corner of the base isn't easily accessible at all. This room might have to get removed. Just to make it easier to get out of the base. Oh, you're missed. Yep, you missed again. That's about all missing you can do, bud. <laughs> that go juice be working. See if it'll train itself to be one of us. <laughs> We downed the Mega Sloth with Petro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Juice is an excellent combat stem for those of you that don't use it. Like, you guys all just saw how fast he was able to run around. Gave him time to run around and shoot. I mean, if you have a running gun, it doesn't matter as much, but. that ground penetrating scanner so we can figure out where to put the deep drills. Might as well de deconstruct that thing. It's kind of just in the way. You didn't, you didn't save it. <laughs> you were half of the ways my go frenzy inspiration. <laughs> Fair enough. Kirby's like sunken into the blanket that I have wrapped around me and I, I sit on the ends of it to keep the blanket pulled taut and he just uses it like a hammock. <laughs> Here, I need a hydration check, guys. Drink some water if you haven't drank. I'm sorry, I just poured water on Kirby. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Oh, don't look at me like that. I didn't mean to. I know you were sleeping. I didn't mean it, buddy. Oh, my boy. <laughs> He's got to move now. Oh, man, I'm sorry, bud. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's like crawled all the way up to my chest. He's just staring me in the face like, I dare you to do that crap again. Dare you to pour water on me when I'm sleeping again. <laughs> what is he creepy? <laughs>
You're okay, Kirby. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Just got a little wet. You're all right, my boy. I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean to. I was trying to grab my cup with one hand without waking you up, but I wasn't, I didn't have enough dexterity to do it. You want me to adjust you? Yeah? You sit different? Sorry guys, one moment. Kirby's upset with me. I need to show him I still indeed love him. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, buddy. Rest your head. Go back to sleep, my boy. Can you take a nap? Can you go back to sleep? Oh, dear. Uh, the streams, they generally go for three to four hours. You want a treat? Kirby treat? Treat sound pretty good right about now. Yeah, you want a treat? Okay. Yeah, we can give you a treat for sure. You beef stick. Sound pretty good. Oh man, Kirby farted. Oh gosh, it smells bad. <laughs> oh my dude, what is you? Is this my punishment for? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, 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 all right, I'm getting, oh, I gotta, all right, you guys, yeah, yeah, you want up? all done now <laughs> get my microphone back in this position okay Tox grenade <laughs> Reach out, Jace, like farts. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. I gave him a treat, and he seems pretty content with that at the moment. So, that worked out pretty good. Alright, ground penetrating scanner is done. Let's go and look over here. Do do do. There's multi blare weapons. There's the auto cannon turret. Got the growth bats. I think we're supposed to be doing xenogenetics now, and then we can go over to production, and we can throw down that. Uh, oh, it's probably in miscellaneous actually. You gotta throw down our ground penetrating scanner. Honestly, it's probably safer to put it up here. Yep, see, there you go. So we've all read it. <laughs> Every year on the 6th of April, May, Super Seraphs can have a special celebration. Petra, you're not having your own little celebration. All right, Eldritch Gaming, you have a good one. Thanks, bye. Using your long range mineral scanner, Neo Warp has compacted machinery. Let's go. Where at? out in the desert form caravan Ex 
accept. Take the horses with you. Then we'll send Petro, who is really good at mining. Who else is really good at mining? Billy's really good at mining, so you can take Billy with you. Yeah, 1.5 is really good, Green. And uh, welcome to the stream, by the way. I think we're good to just send them with one horse. Because one is pregnant, and I don't want to send the pregnant one, so... Do, do, do. Send a couple go juice with them as well. Alrighty. They'll probably be able to get food while they're there. So I think this works for me. Alright, that works for me. Off with you all. Pawns need to gamble with their silver. <laughs> Kirby wants to go upstairs. I'm gonna step away and let the game run for a moment. Hey, the colony didn't burn down. You can walk away from this game. Nebra doesn't have much recreation, which he needs for his plans. <laughs> Good luck and have fun. Yeah, green for sure, yeah. It is definitely a great way to start the weekend if you haven't messed with it too much. I basically took away the whole zone for the rocks over here. Okay. I'm just going to take a huge swig of my water. I don't have Kirby on my lap now, so I can focus a little more. When Kirby sits on me, I want to fall asleep because he's so warm. <laughs> he's such a comfortable bread loaf. <laughs> Come on, finish the ornate door. Do it. They only have 30 beauty to them, too. Without how much work they take, it, you almost would just rather make a sculpture. Like, I guess this awful one isn't very good. We'll deconstruct that. But, like, this legendary chair. Let me see. Oh, the stool doesn't have beauty, huh? Your sleep meter is low. <laughs> It could be, who knows? Hmm. We don't really need this room anymore now that we have all this over here. prisoner rooms, just so you guys know. And our travelers are off. What good music is from Wormworld? Oh, this music? This music is uh, music that we license out to use on the YouTube channel. Thank you for the compliment. I do think Oxjack's music is indeed pretty good. I like to run it on the streams. We used to just play Swagger Stagger over and over again on our videos. Got kind of old. That's true. They are very cheap and fast.
All right, how much did you guys donate? I owe you that many push-ups. The dog has gotten up. I did promise them. 597. All right, six push-ups. Oh. You know, I haven't had to fight around a double door yet. I am not quite sure. The train requirement is heavy, though. It's very heavy, and it has a hit points of 425, which means that it's going to tank a lot better than stone walls. So it is a tough door. It'll keep people from breaking into your church. Kind of turns the church of your colony into the last bastion because the doors are the toughest doors in the game. Just <sighs> do. Toxic waste pack deteriorated weight. Look how big. <laughs> I'm waiting for bugs to spawn, but they won't. They don't give me what I want. The other thing I'm tired of is running out of dirt. Oh, okay, okay, I got a plan. We has plan. I mean, it's durable enough that it just makes sense. Whether it was your intent or not, you know. You're at the church stands doing the last stands. I don't even know if I like our ideal religion at all. <laughs> this is not at all specific to anything. It's so bland. Is this, uh, fluid? I, I still don't understand why Tynan chose real-world religions to add to the game. It just seems like a bad move. <laughs> I'd prefer it all stay made up. I'm playing a video game. It's supposed to be made up. I saw a know if the rebuild option button is new in this version. Um, rebuild is only really on these, I believe. It's not really on anything else. Like your door doesn't have a rebuild. The only thing that has rebuild is your fire foam poppers. I mean, these have rebuild, I guess. Uh, no, they don't. They just automatically rebuild. Yeah, it's a weird feature that for some reason wasn't spread across everything. I don't know why. Don't know why. Let's go with tree sowing. Then we can just build a little tree farm spot and stop having to remember to cut trees. And then someone will please put the guinea pig in his cage. Oh, whatever. Oh, you mean this right here? Yeah. But I'm talking about toggleable per item, though. You know what I mean? Like, having your door set to be rebuilt if it's smashed, that's not a thing, right? I just don't know why we have a individual button specifically on the fire foam popper and nothing else that we're routinely expecting to get broken. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. How long have you been here? A while, he says. Okay, come on, microphone. My boom arm's falling down, pushing my monitor over. So this is all of the stuff we have to mine. We'll let them both hop to work on that. So they got for food pretty much nothing what's on uh, the animal here some of our go juice and herbal medicine is there any wildlife here all right let's go boys can't work before lunch 
Add bills, butcher creature, do forever. We're gonna just have them chop this animal up real quick so that they have... Missing a corpse. Thank you. Yeah, no, just work until you're done, boys. We ain't taking breaks today. We have go juice here, so we'll give them some of that. Not allowed. You just notice while working for the farmer guide, a lot of work is already cut out for me with the names that can't be translated. Interesting. Well, if it's easy, then it's easy, right? <laughs> How many components we got so far? 30? 32? Go consume some of that bird meat. Everybody's just working away up here. Any of these max damage? None of them are damaged. Great stuff. Technically, your pawns won't die if you never let them sleep. They'll just be really upset about it. So you can really just make them grind and grind and grind away. It's got you in a tizzy. You're hungry? Go eat! Oh, the power's out. I didn't want to eat the raw meat. It's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Power's back on already. You could have waited a minute. Oh, well. Seventy-one components. This works so well. The long-range mineral scanner is so bored. I mean, you do end up having to go on a lot of trips like this, but they're worth it. Nobody's getting upset around here. <laughs> They're almost done. Prison Architect, which is kind of similar in gameplay, and it has jumped to 3D in part-time. What do you mean? What do you mean by 3D? Oh, they see us here. It's about time to get going then, huh? We're almost done. I think we'll finish up in time. We're almost done digging. So what's our haul? 120 components. Let's get going. Send them home. Grab all the boys. Take that with us, take the bird skin. We got room to carry it. There's a mechanoid slab trunk. That's a new item from the game. Man, it sure is ugly, huh? Off you are. When they get into the grass here, they'll start gathering their own food. 1.1 days of hunger won't kill them either. And if one of them collapses because they have the horse, they'll still be fine. So, works out. Then we won't have to worry about running this thing for a while, having 120 components. My goodness. Watch our colony wealth jump. There'll be a big old spike on the graph. <laughs> um, you know, I think they just give steel, I believe. If we get any mechs, uh, also the slag chunks are only dropped by large mechs too. Which is something to keep in mind. Oh, 
we're finally starting to get low on food. How's that corn coming along? Let's queue up one more Agrahan for ourselves. Yup. Reaper, if you would like to go do that. Oh. And where else are they coming down at? I saw two points. Are they landing in the walls? I see shadows here. Where's the other shadows at? Are they coming through the roof? There's some pods right there. Bots on escort duty and bring everyone out here. So those guys landed there. Is there guys anywhere else? This is a bunch of guys with knives. <laughs> I don't know why I felt threatened by this. Are they Neanderthals? No, they're pigskins. So I guess they could tank and stuff, but I mean, meh. Meh. Where are the other guys at? I knew that. I, I know I saw a second drop point. Is that really all there is? Why did I think there was more? Oh, we never even destroyed this crash shuttle. made it all the way through. They set off every single truck. I guess there's a first for everything, huh? Oh my goodness, you set off all the traps. So much work. So much wood. Oh, we now know the limits of our kill box. No, I don't plan to add another layer of traps to it. Uh, people that get through will have to deal with gunfire. The substantial structure. And we will have to deal with a centipede burner, a military scorcher, a tesseron, a sun blocker, two mech nodes, one mech capsule, and two mech slugger turrets. In exchange, we will get a psychic harmonizer. Ooh. I do like a psychic harmonizer. We could have we could have a thing. We could give someone like a, a joy implant in their brain and then take off their arms and legs and then put a TV in front of them and have them in a bed getting fed all the time good stuff and then everyone will just get a good buff in the colony from the happy brain waves coming from the guy to everybody else let me get this right we don't have to fight this if it gets scratched we have to fight this how powerful is this guy's EO, man? Group one is escorting Reaper. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta go back to work. Two of them aren't working right now. Oh yeah, it's because the power's out. This thing is just not running enough power. What's going on? Oh, I think that is the case. It's too much power draw at the moment. All right, time to add the the next power station. All right, let's go to this. Let's go to granite wall. I'll add the corners when it's done being built just because it's annoying. They break it. 
or when it's not built right. It's worth. <laughs> Embraces the happy nugget lifestyle. You guys almost back? Reaper has found a lump of buried jade using the ground penetrating scanner. Where? Right here? Okay, well, I'm not interested in jade at this moment, so keep going. I want you to find steel. And that is where the, the penal colony will be. <laughs> That's where you find steel. I mean, I guess you could have uh, labor caravans that go around mining sites, but... I mean, that's a lot of work. The quest is worth it, but I don't want to build right now. I don't want to build that. I mean, I, I guess. Fine. We'll take it for the Psychic Harmonizer. We will install it. Right here. You happy? We'll put it in the smoke leaf zone. There. It, it shall be built. What do we have the most of? Marble, oh, we have the most of granite. It shall be built of granite, then. Tree sewing's done. Good stuff. Next, we shall be researching... Let's see. Do -do -do. I think IEDs would be best to research next. I think IEDs are a pretty good idea. Television's pretty good though. Eh, IEDs. There's not a single trap in there, he's just gonna wander on them. Fight that boar, Neo Warp. Punch that boar. That's right, you won't be defeated by a... You're actually bleeding? Wow. Weak. Weak. Back to work. Oh, are you tending yourself? <laughs> Watch the drop pod in through the roof of it. It'll be considered damage and we'll get a giant, gosh dang, wave of enemies because of it. Caravan has finally arrived. It's just gonna wander around down there with all of our stuff. How much our, our wealth go up with that? We have a dip? Interesting. Yeah, we have to get the second geothermal plant built pretty quick here. I'm running out of stir for it. Running out of stuff for it. Fair enough. We can definitely test it. That's a Katha armor. <laughs> so uh, Neo Warp is wearing Prestige Recon armor and a Cataphract helmet. So he just has armor. He can take a hit. I didn't realize we got a third Militor belt. When did we do that? Do we have uh, th the second Agrahan? We don't. And he's capped out now. Oh no, it's under construction, it seems. 
missing some steel. We... We are not missing steel. Math says that we're not missing steel. Wiley, hello, how's it going? Caravan has arrived. Oh yeah, that was from earlier. Come on, you're almost done. You almost done yet? One more rock to do. You can do it. I'm, I'm happy you enjoy the videos, mate. I appreciate it. The power going on and off is going to cause everybody to flip out from not eating. Monument is done. You don't need to mess with that right now. Go do other stuff, Reaper. You don't need to mess with that right now either. Don't don't worry about that. We'll, we'll run those things when I care about running them. Slurps too much juice of power. We're having brownouts here in the colony. I don't know why he'd want to get buried in our colony. He's never visited here. Send a Reaper to talk to their leader. See what they have to trade. And we have a baby foal. Oh, little baby horse. Who wants to be the baby foal? Who wants to be the, the infant? Make a save and test if removing the roof counts as damaged. <laughs> I don't believe it will matter. I don't think it will hurt anything. All right. It's a lefty. There you go. You are the baby horse. Uh, Reaper, are you going to come out here? Why is Reaper walking so slow? It's because it reduces his consciousness. And he's got the mangled brain scar and the stab scar and the finger. Oh. Reaper is just struggling. Struggling to be a person. Too bad we can't give you a new brain. That's not a thing we can do for you, Reaper. They don't really have anything that I think that we would want. I mean, we want their money. We have extra armor to sell. Nothing else, though. Yeah, these guys are kind of carrying a bit light, aren't they? Maybe he wants to be a skeleton. He's our mechanator, so we can't make him a skeleton quite yet. He's just kind of uh, fragile. There's no way to really fix his damaged mind. Petro is wandering around in a psychotic state. This happened because of poor mood. He's tired and he's losing it for being tired. Yeah? You having fun with that? Billy's having a tantrum.
What's Billy's issue? The Goju's dependency? Yeah. Hasn't had any Goju's in a couple days. Kind of bothering him. <laughs> He'll get over it. They always do. He'll survive. We almost done with that? Oh, we are done with that. Let's run the power lines for that end of the base. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Let's run it straight under the bedroom here. The hidden wires is nice. What do we have? Granite here? Alright. Structure. Door. Granite door. Well, oh, you're not getting out of that one, Mr. Bot, are you? <laughs> oh, he warped out. He just, like, got pushed out. Is that how they're handling the, the dumb building? Is that how they just fix that? He just, if he gets trapped within, they'll build on top of a pawn and he'll just get pushed through the wall till he's in a free tile again. I mean, it, it, I guess it works. Looks like they're gonna build over themselves again. Watch, watch what happens here. They're gonna actually build over themselves. Oh man, oh, they messed it up. They're actually trapped. You guys screwed it up. Add Joywire to Reaper, make him utterly useless. <laughs> How does that even remotely equal Salisbury State? What are you what are you going on about? Finally happened. This one looks actually particularly bad. Yep. Alright. That's some bugs. Luckily no one's stuck in a pod this time. There's only one way to deal with that. We'll get to it in a minute here. We'll go clean that up in a moment. <laughs> Building over those. <laughs> the silly bots. What are you all doing in there? You guys are taking... A break from work together? Is that what's going on? You're all hiding in the room you think I won't look in? We don't have parties here, Petro. We we have work. <laughs> IEDs are done. That's some good stuff. Xenogenetics got finished, so we now can do the gene extraction, the gene bank, and the gene assembler. Now we just need the gene processor. This room might need to be made bigger. What if we did it this way? They had the church here, and then behind the church, we had this big power source separate from the rest of the base. And it was running like gene extraction and stuff, so we'd take the worshippers to the back where they think we would enlighten them. In reality, we were just turning them into abominations to send to war. No one's allowed outside the walls. No one actually understands what's happening. They just think people that get taken into the back rooms of the church go to a better place. You want to be the guinea pig of the biotech stuff? The church bunker. <laughs> Those underground cables are so good. Frightening construction. What does this give? Mining skill by reading it?
What is her great ship? Man, you guys just want to build huge things. Can you pick something not huge to build? Ever? Man. Dude. Make me build stuff outside. I want to build stuff outside. Building stuff outside doesn't work well for us. Build it right here. It's going to mess up this thing, but I mean... You aren't contributing very much to the group anymore anyways. We might as well just deconstruct you. There you go. Build it out of slate. Everybody knows that big monuments means power. We're protecting two monuments right now. One is someone's grave site. And I guess... What's this got in it? More sarcophagus. I don't know how graves commemorate your grand ship, but okay. So those power lines ran here. I already got one built right there. Okay. Why'd the game slow down? What's going on? Oh, the bugs? Did someone go to visit the bugs? Taco Mancer, what the heck are you doing? The clean sweeper. Set off the insects. Taco Mancer, you in chat right now. What are you thinking? Okay, we have to go deal with problems now. I guess they dug their way out, didn't they? Poor Queen Sweeper. Let's go fight some bugs. There's blood everywhere out here. What happened? You guys, the bear and the warg fought each other. That's wild. Two carnivores going at it. A group of travelers are wandering by. Where are they wandering from? Down there? Don't mind us. get in there keep cleaning up they just waved hi how's it going guys shooting insects oh they're getting changed by insects yeah not my problem good job distracting them guys <laughs> oh he's getting stabbed by a little tiny mega scarab get it come on reaper Everybody's going to be so happy to have all this extra insect jelly. I go away for a few minutes and this doesn't <laughs> look like the crack shack anymore. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean crack shack? What do you mean by that, huh?
Send him to recharge, send them to work. Where's Reaper at? Reaper, your new job is smithing on top of researching. Come down here and repair him and then repair the lifter. Taco Master is no longer incapable of walking. How wonderful. Why don't you go uh, do art or something if you're so inspired to create? <laughs> One smash constructoid. The dog is helping haul. Matasia, you're a pretty good dog. Helping out in the colony. Now the base looks like a place you only see while having beer. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I actually think we've been doing pretty good these past few streams. Everything's kind of come together pretty well. I don't think anybody cares about having bug meat in their food. Billy got too tired. Go to bed, Billy. No? Did you just go take Gojis? Is that your solution? Yes, it was. He says, I don't need to sleep. I know how to do this. I can go. <laughs> and go he did. We're missing steel. Do we have steel laying about anywhere on the map anymore? No, because we've been hungry for steel. We've been all of the steel. And it is uh, deep ground out there, so if we just go to structure, the bridge won't go far enough out. Can't do it. Finally went through all the steel on the map, huh, boys? Finally used it all up. Gone. There's some steel. All right, then. Oh, I guess we'll turn that off. We'll turn this on, and we will fine-tune it to steel. Oh, that's true. Yeah. There's some steel right there. We got to keep one. Yeah, we dug out the whole map. Oh, one of them didn't make it off tile. Bled out on his way out of here. Did your friend make it out of here? Uh, looks like he did. The blood trail ends at the edge. Finish the power cable. Finish it. So much steel to haul. There probably is some in these little tiny tiles here. There's one bit right here. Other than that, there's not a whole lot. We're about at the end of it, though, so something that we need to do is definitely focus on getting a... Uh, finding a spot in the ground that has steel. <laughs> and then putting a... Where's it at? The thingy at called... Do, 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 do. The deep drills, wherever we find steel at here on the map. That can't be good.
We have a Militor go rogue on us. It could happen. Rogue Militor. Oh, Alex, we're going till the end of the run. We're going to build a ship. I probably won't be a horrible lot longer. We'll probably start on it next stream if we don't have anything else to do. At least the research for it. Alright, someone else can work on that. You walk way too slow, mate. Thank you, Billy. You and your go juice, you work so quick, so fast. There we go. All the whites come back on. Would you look at that? We're back in business. We get a third one built here soon. Wouldn't be a bad idea to build the third one. When this stream series is done, I'm going to cut it down and do a Let's Play, too. So, there'll be that for people to look forward. Excuse me, to look forward to. Getting that thing done. Alrighty. Do we have anybody on the comms at the moment? Not really. We have decent with the Empire, but they still won't do anything with us. We don't have enough goodwill. They're not our ally, so. Yeah, we could go clear out more Ancient Dangers. We can just go settle tiles to go fight Ancient Dangers for stuff. We're almost done with this thing, finally. It's taking forever. And we never even got the traps fixed, so that's just asking for trouble. Petro, you still think wrong? You still think wrong. After all this time. What are we going to do with you? How are we going to fix your head? have a conversion ritual we can do yeah we'll do the fiesta of independence might as well help everybody feel better pick up a log everyone hold your wood <laughs> he passed out <laughs> he doesn't care about our rituals petra doesn't care about our stuff Petro's fault. He fell asleep. Mech shouldn't spawn in puddles and lakes from the test. It seems they're only spawn in water connected to the border of the map and or moving water. Well, Alright, that's good to know. hallway that's what this will be the holy hallway <laughs> we'll put a wall through here and then this wall will get torn down and this will be more space for what's going on over here I can see it already we're finally gonna start doing some role play Everybody's eating bug meat right now, it's great. Alright, we need to plant another corn farm. I don't really feel like building a dedicated space for it right now, so we're just going to grow a crap ton of corn right outside our base. And that's going to have to be good enough. We'll have to build a bigger fridge somewhere else. From gold not wasted, it's used for good. <laughs> I 
Petra, we can just buy more gold. It's not a problem. We already built this. We already built the multi-analyzer. I mean, there's other stuff to use gold for, but at this point, the most important things are done. As a loot hoarder, it pains you, loot goblin. <laughs> we kind of redline it with our resources, don't we? With all the storage space we have, we're not really using most of it. We should build a silver vault too, a place to hold all the silver. Should we build a silver vault? you guys pick. Should we build a money vault? You're still working 24 hours. It's fine. You don't actually need to sleep. <laughs> All right. So excited. Oh, the things we're gonna do. Here, let's deconstruct this. That needs to get replaced with slate. Oh, we only have granite. We need more rocks. Kind of just using up everything at this point. Oh, we have enough for this. We have 63. Okay, cool. We have a solid yes on the money vault. So she shall be done. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I must be concocting evil plans that even I am yet not aware of. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. We're going to have a cast system. It's going to be great. All in due time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm losing it. Oh, evil laugh as building weird church thing that makes human hybrid creature things. Oh, 69th like, let's go. I'm looking at the bright side. We've only done six bucks this whole stream, which means I get a day off tomorrow. Because you guys didn't hit the, the quota. The quota for another day of stream. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be streaming a long time today too. I have plans, I have stuff I want to do, and I'm having fun right now. No rest for the wicked. Billy hasn't arrived yet. Do not tempt fate. <laughs> you know, there's something I promised you guys that I haven't done yet. Let's do it. Go ahead. I did promise you guys that, didn't I? I did say we would fight a Diabolus. Let's go and throw that in the mix. What's the worst thing? It'll light the whole base on fire? I don't think so. 
Actually, yes, it could. But we're not worried about that right now. He'll be here in a few hours. Weak. I thought it'd give us, like, Tesserons or something. Alright, let it make its way over here. Still looking for that fabricator with your name on it. Oh, you want the fabricator bot. That's what you meant. I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't understand you before. Why are you unarmed, bro? This heavy SMG is wasted on you, but you can have it. <laughs> oh, no worries. I do owe you five push-ups, though, so I will do that. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five. Which way are you trying to get in here from? You better not be taking the side door. That's locked. You're not supposed to come through there. Three of you need to queue up and get in there. Yep, just like that. Melee combatants side to side in here. And honestly, Probably safest to put these three right here and then spread you guys out like this. Which way is he going? What made you want to turn around? Where are you going? Is there an animal outdoors right now? Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> He's not gonna start killing my horses. He's just gonna blast a hole through the wall. Well, this is what we would refer to as a severe problem. Knock, knock, and jade, Trainman. <laughs> we had this all set up and perfect. All right. Plans on the fly, I guess. I think we can pinch him over here, though. Get our melee combatants up here. Come on, come on, come on. Get some distance on this guy. Oh! Oh shoot. Lander is offended that you allowed the monument to be ruined soon after completion. The Empire's opinion of me has fallen. How's how's your health, dude? Doing all right? Matasia, no! <laughs> I 
The dog's on fire. Oh crap. Um. Rescue Neo War, please. Why are you running towards it, you fools? Into the flame. <laughs> Get in there. Man, that was stressful. How'd you guys like that? You happy now? We get the signal chip and we get to research the next part of mechanoids, which we needed. Big old holes in the wall that need to get patched up though. Our doctor was the one that got injured. The one that had the most protection. That was fun. I enjoyed that. That was actually kind of a twisty twist because I was expecting... I was expecting them to come all the way through the kill box, but having them come through the sidewall... This is a tough area to fight in. I like that. After Godonia gets up, use the convertibility on you. Can't. We gotta wait a few hours. Gene processor's done. Let's go. We don't really need to research the ability to use Arkite capsules yet, but it would probably be a good idea to research recon armor and put that on people finally. I do agree with that one. Getting basic medicine production is something we can do as well. Sounds important. No, it, it, it finished. We don't need this thing. Tear it down. Take out the floors for it, too. Give me back that rock. Use it on the outer walls. You are it. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, too. I'm tearing it apart. <laughs> This one's still there, though. This is the one we don't want to get broken because we'll get a mech cluster dropped on us. This one, all we miss out on is, like, seven honor. Who cares? Plenty of ways to get honor. It's like two slave trades will give us that much honor. We didn't have anybody equipped with the EMP grenades for that fight. That was my, my primary error there. That would have slowed down that thing a lot. Probably wouldn't have even destroyed the building at all. Happens. Hardly any damage, though, other than some people getting some minor injuries and needing some tending to. That went really well. I'm going to take a save. We're not done yet. I'm just taking a save. Just because we've done a lot today. Not quite yet. Oh, right now it's done. Oh, did you see that, what I just did? It's something you can do now is if you click an ability, I can just click up here. See that? That's part of 1.5. You don't actually have to go find the pawn anymore. 
thought you guys appreciate that. I bet Tynan thinks you guys appreciate that. Still a failed conversion though. Are you guys seriously not removing the roof first? You're not entirely smarter, are you? Are you gonna actually like try to remove the roof first? No? Idiots. <laughs> Guys, maybe, uh... Have the ability to do stuff now. Yeah, look at that freedom. Our horse got zapperated though, didn't it? No, it didn't. Okay. Mama horse and baby horse ran into the kill box. Safer over there by the traps. Yeah, you don't need to spend resources on that anymore. Give me back my steel. Make an infinite plate armor over here. Oops. So, let's go over to the plans real quick, since we kind of know how this is going to go, what we're building over here. So this will open into what is essentially a hallway right here. Right? And it will come this way. It's a big, thick hallway. Thinking, let's say for now it's there's a path right here, so it's gonna come this way. It's nice and wide hallway, and right here, right, because there's gonna be a wall right here. Right here is where people will gather. Behind here, there's a door, right? That actually follows along the side here. Comes back down this way. And then suddenly the walls get really tough and thick. We'll have to get rid of this door right here. Yeah, this is pretty close to the prison, so... Maybe it might be a good idea to have it be a, a long hallway. Might be. Could be. Yeah, it could be. And we will have within here a little path out where we can pull people from this room. It'll be like triple locked. We'll bring them up here so then this will end right here. And there'll just be a lab in this room. And then there'll be a door here that comes this way. And we can have all the gene stuff in here. I know it takes up a lot of space, but I think it looks kind of evil lair-like. And then if we get any uh, vampires, they can take up the space back here behind that plant. But ahead of all that... Do-do-do... I know we have a kill box right here already. We're gonna have to build another layer to this base though. So I think. Yeah, it's gonna come through here and up. Pretty much the whole map's gonna have to get eaten by this one. Yeah, that makes some sense to me. Okay. Many things to do. You wanna see the rabbit girls bully the Adeptus Stardust? <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, and so this is 10 across. Sorry, it's so just the the planning for the design here. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff that's gonna go down in this corner. You mostly just go with the wind. <laughs> I get too scattered and forget what I needed to do if I don't. Oh hey, who is our best warden here? Petro, Petro, get up here, bud. Anything else? Just that? Well, all right. Don't have enough money. You want drugs? I think you do. There you go. Two more. This one's one of us now. Who wants to be Justice? Justice is an infant. A really good crafter and builder with decent shooting and a quick sleeper. Nutmegs. And then Siren, who is also an impid, will be Seth. There you go. Uh, Dorian, probably never, ever, never, forever. <laughs> I don't see that one happening. Maybe we should have an extension of this room where people are sent off for the holy melting. Where there's like a corner room here. Okay, yeah, we could probably do that. Orders. Planning. here. This hall will still come up through here. And we'll just have a path here for any vamps that we get. We'll just have them kind of tucked away way in the back corner behind the church. There we go. There's that. You're I'm the reason I got you got addicted to the game. Well, I'm glad you like it, Dorian. <laughs> they just got a new community manager, though, Sneaky. And I like Sneaky. Sneaky's a great, great dude. And I think that Sneaky is going to do wonderful things for Lydian as a member of their community management team. Uh, they really haven't had enough time to approve themselves yet, so I think just waiting it out and seeing how this launch goes, you know? The holy melting. Uh, well, the holy melting is... We were just normally melting down here, but up here, it will be the holy melting. Visitors, your son-in-law is Gwydonia? Well, hello! Sophie the defector, huh? Send Petro to talk to him. they got for us definitely not selling you a signal chip 
it seems to be that you're probably not buying anything. You might want some wood plate armor. That'd be probably about it. I'll buy your medicine. We don't have any. Thank you. Call that inside, please. And then we need a spot for the money vault, too. Zones. Orders. The money vault can be hidden. Hidden like a treasure room. And then we can actually have... The money vault will come down and be right behind here, but there'll be another door that leads over here. And it'll be the relic room. There you go. This whole area is already planned out built. We have a lot of work to ahead of us. And then I guess we'll probably leave this space down here for the ship unless we're going to build a ton more and have it come down through there. You love the relationship mod where you can recruit family. I had a pawn whose wife and child showed up as a caravan and you recruited them. That's pretty cool, yeah. We need to start capturing a lot of people. Basically, everybody needs to get captured from now on if we can find a way to do it. Um, we need to recruit at every opportunity. We just need a lot of people, a lot of workers, a lot of, a lot of people and workers. That also means we need to start making a crap ton of silver. And nobody's found any steel spots yet. What are your thoughts on the Combat Extended mod versus Yayo's Combat Extended? I like Combat Extended. It was the first one I used, but Yayo had the animations and stuff and all that and had a lot more mod compatibility, which just overall ended up being the the overall win for me petro come on petro check this stuff out involuntary interns really boost your honor <laughs> we'll sell them this awful small sculpture talk to the wrong person. Definitely not going to sell you our Psychic Harmonizer. Someone's going to step on that trap. I mean it. I have no faith here. Where's the one I can trade with that? I'm trying to find you, dude. Out oh, there, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got no other books for us. Crap park, I'll sell them that. You are impid. <laughs> Sell a bunch of yayo to these people. They don't really have anything for us, do they? We have a bunch of corn. I guess we should probably go on a trip to sell stuff here soon, eventually. I mean, when this wave of corn is done, of course. Press demon sec, yeah. <laughs> we don't really need this particular structure anymore, so I'm gonna disassemble it. I'm gonna reinstall the white in here. I like how this whole building's adorned with... <laughs> Got some plants to go harvest. Hey!
No, Petro, you're very strong-willed. We may have to lock you up for a while to fix you. I don't know any other way to do it. Are you making tea? There's much better things to make than tea. Get out of there. Oh yeah, when we get done researching, we actually we ought to do standard mech tech. Signal chip not studied. Go on you. Go on, Reaper. Go on, my friend. Signal chip is studied. There we go. Standard med tech is next. It will give us the array helmet, which gives us more bandwidth, three more. So we're actually gonna switch and do that next. Just so we can get that done. And then we can also make the bandwidth pack, which gives us plus nine. So we'll be able to have a bunch more mechs, which is kind of what we want right about now. So just gonna smack that research out. I feel like Reaper and Guidonia are the most special of the colonists, and everybody else is just support characters. I don't think I've done a lot of modded streams for you guys, have I? Oh, the things I can do. <laughs> Would do. <laughs> I actually suck at micromanaging when there's loads of mods. I'll get better at it the more I stream. I think it's just a skill that you develop, being able to focus on more than one thing. What's your preferred way to get rid of waste packs? Uh, drop potting them on neighbors and the ocean. But right now, I kind of just like having a rotting waste pit. <laughs> it's really funny is if you have someone you don't like, you can put a uh, medical spot over here and then rescue them to over here and then walk away and they'll just be sitting in the pooch. <laughs> it's messed up, but <laughs> they'll rot away a little faster. And then your person doesn't have to feel bad about seeing the corpse. If you have someone that feels bad about that stuff, the roundabout ways of getting things done. Gotta add little cubbies to put statues to adorn this hallway with. I guess they'll have to be outside when this wall gets done, huh? Two folks. Guess I ought to move the wall a little further to the right, huh? Alright, can do. I didn't get caught by anything that time, did it? Nope. Okay. The reason the camera is able to move so quick is if you hit shift while using WASD, the camera goes really fast. So not holding shift, holding shift. Shift works pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> it's going to contain a lot, though. It's like the size of the base being built all over again. It's going to take more stone to build this wall than our whole base has been used so far. But we have a lot of builders now. This research is going to get done, and we'll get a ton more robots going, build some combat mechs. And then what's going to end up happening is this inner part here is going to be where all the co colonists we have right now are. We'll build new housing out here and then have like the different zones. 
don't know if you guys like anime and watch like Attack on Titan or anything, but like the innermost will have the most intelligent, most well cared for pawns, right? And they'll have like the church and like the the vampire space and the gold vault and all the relics and all the weird science going on while everybody else outside can barely defend themselves. So. Yeah. This is, this is where you guys start to roleplay. You get like towards the mid game, you start messing around and having fun, theming things. I mean, some people start out with mods. I'm the type that adds mods as I go. So, like, depending on how I decide I want my run to go, I'll add more mods. Nutmeg, you're an excellent builder and brick maker. You're very good at what you do. Build more wall for me. We do not have anywhere near enough slate. We need, like, 500 slate. So I think we're going to come over here and destroy these mountains. It's a royal tribute collector. How goes it, you? I have nothing for you. Be on your way. Well, where will the entrance be? Um, I'll figure that out later. I think it'll actually be on this side, so they'll go through a death, a big, huge death box over here. And then there'll be the inner layer death box. As I layer a base, I usually add more boxes. This map isn't as big, but I usually get up to three layers with like three rows of kill boxes getting towards the center. The tax man cometh. <laughs> he get nothing. Careful with the roof there, bud. Whoops, accidentally clicked out of it. Got a little eclipse going, doesn't hurt nothing. They build so fast now. This would have taken so much longer earlier in the game. Yeah, I think we're just going to tear down all the rocks. Get rid of the hills. No more hills. Make the hills fall down. I don't want any hills. You th you're going to get upset about the tree cutting. You're going to get something about... Petra, where are you at? Wadonia, go deal with him. Oh, he's getting lower. <laughs> Yeah, that had some beauty to it, actually. They don't really count. He, it seems they're just disappearing these days, so it's not so much of an issue anymore. They just kind of go away. We need a, a electric smelter, though. Do do do. Throw that down right here. We got rid of that bed to give space for this, so we can finally have it. And we're gonna start melting down all these slag chunks we got lying about. Things are going so well. <laughs> Don't worry about that, you. Over here. Look for stuff here. On our tile. Bills. Add bill. Smelt metal in the slag. Do forever. Smelt weapon. Details. Clear all. Bio-coated weapons only. Alright, that ought to work. Whoever's assign, assigned crafting will start doing that for us. You're as good as 10 average builders. <laughs> 
So for anyone wondering, these are going to become a bunch of indoor grow zones that are separated. And then if you were to look at like this right here, you go to structure real quick. To do. So leading inward, right? So say there would be a door here. I guess we'd leave a gap here actually. It would come along and then you go to security here. You do two sandbags. And then somewhere along the way, you do two more walls. And you do more sandbags. And so that gives your guys extra cover. And it gives them none. And so if, uh, say they... By doing it like this and layering out the base like this, if someone drop pods in, it's actually more trouble for them if they tr than if they tried to come in some other way. Because say they drop pod in and land over here somewhere, they have to tear through a bunch of walls and it's it's going to take them a long time to get anywhere in the base and we'll have plenty of time to react to them. I don't care about improving relations with you guys. Send more people. I need to smelt your weapons. And also, I need people. Come at me, bro. Yeah, we're getting at the more bricks here. We're getting to it. Light that bear on fire, Nutmeg. He's still coming at you? What an intimidating bear. You had to wait five days to fire spit again? Your friend will come save you. I guess everybody will come save you. This is why we build walls. The outside is dangerous. It's not safe for us. That's right, Petro. This bear is nothing to you. Destroy it. Where's everybody else at? On their way out here, clearly. All right, run away, Petro. I said run away, Petro. <laughs> further, you need to go further. Neo Warp is for some reason unarmed. <laughs> Nutmeg is just trying to crawl in. What is this song called? This song is called Welcome to My Lo-Fi House by Oxjack. <laughs> Get that bleeding stop. All right. See you later, Nutmeg. <laughs> the dog's going to help you. <laughs> Somebody get a bearskin duster. Could happen. I don't think we have dusters queued right now, though. Oh, we're at what we need. Oh, we're actually reading a book. Which book are we reading? Oh, man. Oh yeah, the standard mech tech is done, by the way, so we can now build the thing I wanted to build, which is the bandwidth pack. Yeah, 
And if Guidonia would be so darn kind. It needs cloth. Huh. Oh my bad. Oh, we need a second signal chip for this one. Okay. Okay. I understand. All right. Well, we'll make the array headset first, which I believe gives us the six. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, aux chat, like the cord. Now have two more slots available. get over it. Hey, that's a person, isn't it? A space refugee. I guess your abilities don't matter too much. I just want your soul. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't think you, any of you understand. We are not keeping this one as a friend. We are capturing... Capture this one for me, if you would. Oh, they can't even see either. Wonderful. Oh, Nutmeg, you're fine. You just uh, fought a bear. You know, everybody fights a bear once in their life. Well, that's oddly contained. Yo, how's it going, Fable? Yeah, we're building the next wall. <laughs> the fine nutmeg got mugged by a bear. Where's Neo Warp at? Get over here, bud. What a crap assault rifle. I don't care if it says it's good. It's damaged. We'll tend to you in the dark. <laughs> Reaper needs you for his experiments. Hey, you did not finish the job there. Oh, you're already tending. Okay. I think we're going to have to have a dividing wall right here. Because we don't want people that are lower class of our colony finding out what's going up on the north side of the base. They have too much wrong with them to be happy, even with a psychic harmonizer. Ugh. Ooh, my. Well, two termites means that they're just going to tear through the walls and stuff. Um, give me just one moment, guys. I'm going to go refill my, my glass of water, and then we'll fight these mechs. Oh, I needed to stretch my legs. Oh, we've been sitting so long. I haven't had to do any push-ups this stream. I'm getting oddly relaxed.
Good stuff. Coffee. I run on coffee. Crap, did I jinx it? <laughs> the termite can destroy walls. Yeah, it, none of these guys are gonna bother with the kill box. One more moment. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sitting for so long, I needed to move for a minute. Oh. I cannot sit for like 10 hours straight. I have to move my legs. Not if you repair faster. You're not going to stop a termite from digging through your wall if he decides he wants to dig through your wall. Because if you see, he uses a thumb cannon. And a thumb cannon is not fun for you. Because if you come look at the thumb cannon, it has an armor penetration of not very much and a stopping power of not very much, but it does 750% building damage and it does 1500% damage to other buildings. So it just destroys. So say if it would do 10 damage to a normal pawn, it will do 150 damage to your wall. Essentially, he will hit your wall and break it in one hit. Not a good combatant, combatant, an excellent digger, though. Anyways, anywhere, everyone come inside, please. Everyone that I can order to. Got pretty good shooting skill on you. Let's go throw a heavy SMG on you. Let's go grab those EMP grenades real quick. You guys taking the back door, huh? Got some sappers on us. Yep, they're coming in through the back. All right, let's meet them outside. Dude, Reaper, you walk too slow. Your bots won't go that far. Might as well just go home, you. You don't have a gun on you. How's Billy doing? Billy is horribly injured. And Neo Warp is also horribly injured. Tend to Billy. Actually, no. You uh, tend to Billy. Neo Warp, tend to yourself. Uh, you come and move over here. Hopefully, they'll spread their attacks out a bit. There's one still inside. My goodness. What a disaster. No termite gonna stop you. The termites are pretty rough to mess with.
Billy still needs some help. Taco died. No, Taco, man. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Oh, you can't use the grenades while you're wearing the shield belt. I forgot about that. All right, Reaper, just step aside. you would get the second wall, by the way, just so you guys know. For stuff like this, where they tear a giant gaping hole in your wall through multiple rooms. You went through four walls. That's ridiculous. Why would I save scum? This is going to take like two seconds to repair this. We have the slate right here, and it's closest to base center, so the bots will fix it first. And Billy is crawling back to bed. Well, all right then, Billy. No, you don't need... You, you just put spit on it. Oh, shut up, Neo Warp. You're gonna get punched by Gladonia. Yeah, I told you you were gonna get punched. Alright, you're done. Alright, good. <laughs> A leg upgrade? Yeah, the books are purchasable only. Get them from traders. Loop. And then let uh, Billy go get his gun back. Yeah, see, they already pretty much fixed all of it. At least the core of the base is enclosed again. Only takes a minute. They are really digging towards the stockpile. That's why chem fuels over here. Where it can blow up in peace. Then Reaper, when you start feeling better, which will probably take a minute, why don't you head out here and repair Clover. Go repair our bot boys. How many of the mechs are injured? Most of them. Most mechs are injured at this time. Sucks a shame it could be peak artists making books or something else like that. I know, I know. You know what, though? I'm looking forward to the mods. Oh, he didn't make it. He snapped. He walks too slow to be of much use these days. If it weren't for your excellent researching skill, we would have you dead. <laughs> Other uses. How's uh, this one doing? We've kind of forgotten about him over here in the corner. <laughs> SCP Foundation and RimWorld. The, we're going to be playing Frankenstein in RimWorld here pretty soon. All right, that's it. We're putting a door through your room over here. There's someone's room. What kind of rocks do we need for that? Put a granite door, structure door. Granite door. Leading right outside through here. Let's make a quicker way out of here. It looks ugly, but that's what I'm doing for now. Nutmeg's exact skills. Flip up, up. Nutmeg, come back. You're really good at crafting, so technically you should be inside. I mean, impids are naturally really fragile and not very tough. And they're always good for indoor work. 
It's ironic that they made Impid's weak and really good at crafting, but can spit fire, because it seems like Tynan really wanted to set you up to have all your crap crafters spit fire. That way, when someone drop pods into your colony, your own people light your entire base on fire. And it's just me, you know, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you're really good at being a builder and crafting. Yeah, you are good at what you do. Are you about done yet? Also, the max for days is two days, by the way. Days time is capped at two days now. Most of your pawns will collapse in that time frame, though. Oh, look, one of the rooms is done. We'll get another bed installed down here. I understand putting the bed closest to the door, but it just doesn't make sense. To me. I mean, it is really efficient. Okay. It is really efficient. Okay. Be a dirty mid-maxer for this one. I messed that up. I, like, personally wouldn't like the head of my bed being right next to the doorway. Efficiency be damned. <laughs> and the wall is patched. It's fixed. Look at that. Get a floors. Where's the marble floor at? We have marble tiles. Not many of them. Let's see here. This will be all day lilies. And then in the middle, it'll be roses. So I guess that means that this can be outside right here. No, it doesn't mean that. That's not true. It's contained. Contained beauty. Zones. Remove roof area for right here. There we go. It's kind of like an outdoor beautiful spot. Right, that'll be right across from where the church is because the doors for it would be... It's not going to line up perfectly. This is This is the worst thing ever. It doesn't line up. This is awful. This is actually awful. Wait, no, does it? It's because this comes over one tile. All right, I can fix this. I can fix it. Now let's see. It does, okay, that's much better. But wait, what's going on with that? not cursed yet.
No one's gonna argue with me about symmetry. You need less sleep, give you work. <laughs> Aesthetics matter, okay guys? They do, they matter lots. Sad wander. What are you sad wanderer for? I have not paid attention to any of you because I was too busy making things look nice. So I want to give them substances. <laughs> Reaper feels better. You can finally send him out to fix the down bots. Oh, hush you. Who else is temporarily almost upset? The, the smoke smoke leaf. Alrighty. Got another injured lifter over here. Oh, come on. Let me right-click it. The game, this... This is a bug. This is a really dumb bug. Let me select the lifter. Let me select the lifter. I might right click it a hundred times. It's that's something new since 1.5. Trying to click on your max is kind of tough. Sometimes it just it's not selectable at all. I don't know why. It's pretty dumb. But all right, game. Games in chart. See, can't click it right now. There we go. That was actually my fault that time. <laughs> Are you done yet, bud? All about the redacted. Only one more bot to repair. Let me click it. Let me click it. <laughs> my goodness. My stress levels go so high when I'm trying to click on my max. <laughs> hey, Ample Sample, how's it going? We are doing well. Thanks for asking. Appreciate it. We are indeed the well. You just happen to be good at crafting. This here is all bridge, so I can't replace that with anything. This is also bridge, so I can't replace that. But these, these we could, yeah. That one right there. Anything that makes it this far into the base, it probably doesn't matter if things are wood anymore. We have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> if it gets that deep into the base, we have other problems. Why don't we uninstall these glow pods, take those home with us? Get all these rock chunks hauled in, too. Have we gotten all the rocks? Ah, uh, not all of them within the base. There's still more. We have about carved out the entire map at this point, though. We're starting to get to that point where the game's like, hey, you gotta leave tile if you want stuff. You gotta leave tile. You gotta go raid. You gotta go get stuff. I guess we gotta dig this out, don't we? Loop. Knock down that one. What's up with you? Reaper. That'll do it. If you do the smoke leaf, you've got too many problems, Reaper. You can't be doing that. 
What happened to our queen sweeper? I don't see it at all. Is queen sweeper dead? It would be over here with the other dead ones. Making Millotors. You would love more walls to build. We have a lot of queening to do. Everybody, go queen for a bit. Go swipe the floors. Base is filthy. That's why you're all losing your minds. The queen sweeper is dead. That'll do it. Filthy base is the end of your base. You about done over there, bud? It's gonna be a bit. Six more hours on you. <laughs> I guess there are, is things we could do to help him out. I know what we could do. I know how to fix Reaper, guys. I got it. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Here, here's how we're gonna fix Reaper. We're gonna give him this. There we go, that'll solve our problem. Thank you. Watch this, his brain's gonna fix itself. Oh yeah. So much feather. You'd like more power options than what we currently have? That's fair. We have just two geo plants at the moment. We could build a third one. We have one walled in down here. This is technically going to be part of the new boil room, so it makes sense to expand it a bit. Yeah, just give him some Luciferium. Yeah, he's got a bit more moving than he used to have with that extra blood filtration and stuff. I bet he's moving a bit quicker too. Look at you go. Look at that. You're not as slow now. Now if you run out of the funny red drug, things will go bad for Reaper. Things will go bad for all of us. Think of all of these mechs going rogue in the colony. And he's making more Militors. <laughs> But we have enough, so he only needs one every nine days. There's 60 days in an in-game year, which means he needs 70 a year, and we have 10. So it's gonna be 5504 by the time this matters to us. And by then we'll find traders that have them. They want like 84 silver a thing. Having like one or two pawns that need Luciferium is not the end of the world. Not at all, not even close. If you completely ignore the fact that you need some kind of stockpile of it, then yeah, it'll become a problem. But, I mean, the amount of time you have till it's an issue. I mean, I guess you'd run into trouble if you gave it to everyone in the colony. All right, bills. Add bill. Queen sweep. if Reaper would be so kind as to make Queen Sweeper. You, need, you like buildings, so you need a fabrication bench. We got one right here. We're not done with the recon research, though, which is right here. Totally not done at all yet. We need to fight another uh, Diabolus. Actually, a few more. I think we used the signal chip, didn't we? Oh, we still have one, so we need to fight one more Diabolus. Okay. Well, give me a few minutes to finish up what we're doing here, and then we'll fight a Diabolus. <laughs> fight one more Diabolus. Oh, come on, you. We need an auto bong for this colony. Just put it in here. This solves so many problems. My gosh, Billy! 
Oh my gosh, Billy. So much. <laughs> You can solo the Neomic Robot Clave. Clove. <laughs> I think you're overselling yourself there a little bit, Clove. <laughs> well, Templar started it, so... Now don't go blaming people here. You even sleep with your precious bench? Nutmeg is just so good at the crafting. You know what you're going to be making later, Nutmeg? You're going to be making this for me. This is what you're going to be making for me. Does that sound good to you, Nutmeg? Clave, not Clove. <laughs> Maybe Clave is going to slowly become Cleave. It was Clove, then it was Clave, then it was Cleave. These names slowly begin to outline your new job duties. You know you need to craft them you want to. <laughs> How many components do we have right now? We got so many in that thing. We still have loads. That's the answer. We still have loads. And we actually have them split into two different rooms. So if one room goes up in flames, we'll still have loads of components. Man, when the minify everything mod would fit in. All right, let's hop up here real quick. Bill's add Bill. Shred mechanoid. Do forever. Let's throw that all the way up to the top. We're probably not going to make more EMP grenades. We're also not going to make another air wire headset or another array headset. Okay. Already made the... Alright, yep. Nutmeg going to be sleeping in the bedroom closet. <laughs> Bring these guys in for shredding for that steel. I like how the flag pants looks like a chest armor when it's being crafted. We have another geyser right here. There's just so many geysers on this map. I can't remember what the seed was, but this is a really good seed. Geyser, geyser, geyser. Like we have a row of three so close together. It's all perfect for a base. If we had this kind of placement on an ice sheet map, it'd be awesome. Oh, there's another one out there. Oh my goodness. Plenty of geysers. What was that? Why are you doubling up, buddy? You're already on one thing. Why do you need two? That's a great map. It is. It is. It really is a great map. I know I went over it in the uh, first episode of the stream. It's those VODs are up in the channel, so if you really care, you guys can pull up that and find it. He didn't finish it. Hmm. Interesting. We need more slate still. Ah, slate. Whoops. Yep, make the mountains fall down, guys. Come on. You can do it. I guess there's chunks over here. We will slowly go through all of it. <laughs> I guess I should put shelves out here to hold the steel and stuff so we can pile more in there.
I'm surprised Nutmeg lets Billy go and chop the stone. Petro is indeed still thinking wrong. Wake up, Petro. Think differently. Who would we execute? Oh, the prisoner? I forgot we had a prisoner. I keep forgetting there's a prisoner. Eh, we don't really need any of the other leaders. Which rituals is ours? Oh, yeah, that is ours. Okay. We don't have the four wood needed to do the festival. <laughs> we don't keep many trees around, do we? How many animals are we getting in here? This is appearing. Just have animals. And I think they're going to starve to death with... Yeah, they, not enough tiles for this many animals in here, so we're going to have to make more pen space. Oh, well, it'd be what it be. Stone cutting is for peasants. <laughs> I'm surprised how many of you guys have stayed this far into the series of streams. Usually we don't have this many people follow us through a run. Why is a buffalo out there? Hey, you. Is it rotted? Oh, it's desiccated. Oh, it's skeleton? I thought it had meat on it still. Bones is meat. It could be meat. It's because Fry has nothing else to do. <laughs> I think they've kind of finally started wrapping stuff up around here, so we're going to schedule some tree cutting. I'm going to build a second stone cutting bench so we have one more stone cutter in the mix. Get this moving along a little quicker. Yiftly, well, I am happy that you're pleasantly surprised by our streaming here. <laughs> Reaper does need to learn faster. Oh, thank goodness the cleaner's done. What would we do without a clean sweeper? All right, floors. I'm going to give you something to build. This hallway has been nothing but hallway for a long time. Go make it something special. Prestige Cataphract the best armor in the game? I think it is. I think Cataphract is as good as it gets. You're asking me difficult questions. Now I'm like torn on myself because I remember mods. <laughs> so many mods. Too many mods. No, there's no such thing. Shush, Nubert. It's okay. There's no such thing as too many mods. You can have mods. Mods all day. Mods for Nubert. Good Nubert. Nubert mod, Nubert good. You were good, Vaughn. Dude, the... All having the robot workers make such quick work of this stuff.
We don't have any power over here, do we? What is this quest finish? Is this done yet? I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. Sensory mechanites, I don't see any issues here. So, for those of you that don't know much about sensory mechanites, right? It causes pain and stuff, right? So you get plus 20 pain. But look at, they get a bunch of sight, extra hearing, better speaking, better manipulation, and their rest fall rate is reduced, right? But it hurts a little bit. But that's all it does, is hurt a little bit. Nothing wrong with this stuff. I call this a win. Oh, unless you're an impid. That, that could be a problem. That might affect your moving a bit. Oh, gosh dang it. Why has it got to be on the impids? Who else got it? Hey, Neo Warp. Hey, our doctor suddenly has better hearing, sight, and manipulation and talking. This is good. Excellent. Gosh dang scan callers. Oh yeah, they're gonna get tended. Everybody's got that. Oh, my bad. Everybody's got patient turned on. I'll throw a bed rest up at it too for everybody. It'll get tended too. We have the medicine for it. See, Neo Warp's already tended. He's already tended. And it's not the best tend, but it's a tend. We'll upgrade you to normal medicine. That's something I haven't built at all was a hospital. Um, that should probably go right here. Yeah, it probably should go right here. All right, orders, planning. 12, 12, 24, 48, 96. It's gotta come one tile over here. Bring it over this way one more, too. All right. That way we can have a path right here. Really thin path. Eh, shift it over one more. Why do I put the tile count so high? It's easier to keep the room clean. I craft, I build. You're pretty sure 10 quality doesn't make it beyond faster, it's just for the pain. No, yeah, it's not going away. They're going to have it until they get Glitter World Medicine or something. Advanced components. Interesting. Oh, we need a throne room? Interesting. So the ceremony can't happen without the throne room. Where might that go? Where would we put a throne room? I didn't really think about this. We're building a church at the moment. Huh. No one's using this room right now. Oh, the throne room needs to be kind of big, though. You're going to build it, build it. <laughs> Make any stone blocks. Do until we have X. This is a thousand. <laughs> so much to build, so much to do, so many mountains to make fall over. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Billy? Why are you sad, Billy? No happy, Billy? Billy, no hap? Hop, hop, Billy? <laughs> you can go inside and have some smoke leaf or something. I'm not going to entertain the silliness from him. Well, it's time to grow up, Billy. Hidden conduit. 
Not hidden. Hidden, hidden. And we'll run this all the way around so that we have kind of a loop on our power here. A few more connection points means when the wall gets smashed, you don't have to worry so much about losing all your power flow. Kind of costs more to do it this way, but you do what you gotta do. Run that along there, and that gets us thoroughly connected to our different power sources. And then we'll do another hidden one right here, and we can have this wire actually run all the way across to here. That ought to do it. Everyone else can make bricks while you craft components. There's no components that need crafting. We have way more than what was set to be done. Templar, you enjoy that food. Who is our crafters here? Nutmeg, your number one priority is crafting. From now on, you go craft. Nothing else from you. Nutmeg, I said craft. What are you doing at that research table? Oh, you're reading a book. What's the book do? This might be a good moment to show you guys about books. Oh, well, I can't show you. <laughs> I can't show you this time. There are wires to be built indeed. I, I don't like to waste on wires early on, but later on I do like to run them through every wall just because it's better that way. And since we have underground wires too, we can get even more redundancies in place. Might as well disc open that up too. How fast are we making extra power? Not crazy fast. Looks like we need more power generating sources before we build a lot more. How you doing, mate? Darkness? Yeah. Probably is darkness. That's okay. We have some fun new buildings down here. Fun ones. But before any of that, we have to do a thing. Eh, I've always got weapons on them. Okay, cool. All the mechs have been repaired, too. Gotta get that second signal chip. Double doors. The only big fear here is that they're gonna drop pot in, and I don't know where they're gonna choose to drop pot in at, so keeping that in mind. Where they come, where to? Oh, sweet, you came in on that side. Uh, put everybody in here. Hopefully we can lure them for once properly. A proper luring. By the way, are all the mechs named? We have a Militor 2, a Militor... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We need 8 names, guys. Let's take a moment before the fight. 8 names, people. 8 Clockwork wants to be a constructoid number one. Yifty. Yifty, you already have a person, I believe. You can't have two at once. You have to die first. You want a soul of the Diabolos, Quave? <laughs> Ample Sample wants to be Marco. 
All right, Ample Sample, that's you right there. Jayco. All right, Jayco, here you go. We'll name you after the lifter. Send your horse in the battle, it'll die in a blaze of glory so you can be a bot again. All right, Mayar. Mayar, Mayar. There, yes, good. I need two, I need three more names, people. Anybody else in chat want to be a bot? Yeah, anybody else in chat? Also, we have animals that need names, so really one, two, three, four, five. So five, six, seven, eight. I need eight more names still. All right, Fabu. <laughs> Ramen Requim. <laughs> All right, now we have animals to rename Buffalo One. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Thermo the Rock. <laughs> Georgina. E. There you go. <laughs> Keep spelling things wrong. <laughs> Alrighty. We've got two more. Two more. Fish. One more. Last one. Who here in chat wants to join the group here? We got one more. One more animal. There you are, Golden Star. Happy you didn't even ask for this, but here you are. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit harder of a fight. How much go juice do we have? are you guys doing? Why is Petro smashing people? Tried to convert Neo Warp. This is why you're thinking wrong, Petro. We've been telling you you think wrong. Now you got your butt kicked. And you got Diabolus and Petro's gonna get stuck in the vaporization beam. I can see it happening already. Full circle. <laughs> They're all pumped up on Goju's, think they can do something dumb.
and left the charge rifle there. My goodness, Pawn. What do you got? The chain shotgun? Come swap that out for the better one over here. Alrighty. Everybody back to work. If you weren't ready, it's too bad. You're not going to be ready. <laughs> you can go grab that chain shotgun. Get over here. Go stand there. Nutmeg, you go stand there. You are for some reason unarmed, Pawn. Why? Go grab the, uh, the EMP grenades for me. Alright, throw you there, you there, and you right there. Throw a human over there, get Reaper really close to the wall. So everybody's in range for him. That's awesome, dude. That's super awesome. Go go do what you were told to do. Why are you sleeping? <laughs> Patro's not getting up anytime soon. He is very much been clobbered. I actually put you guys right here. Actually, we'll put you for right here. Thank you. Come back. <laughs> this would be the time to make me do push-ups. How dare you do this again? You and your bull crap. How dare? How dare? He's going to go blast animals again. Travelers are passing by. Come on, you. What animals are ours that decided not to be contained? It's you, Piers. It's always you, Piers. Piers, you're not in your designated space, Piers. Why? Why would you pull aggro on the Diabolus, Piers? You're a bad guinea pig. Naughty guinea pig. Naughty, naughty guinea pig. You did this last time. Well, wrath be upon you, Mr. Guinea Pig. Please don't make a hole in the wall. Heck yeah. Come back this way, you fool. Come back this way. You're going to be too slow to get back inside. Come this way, you darn diabolus. Follow us. Rip Piers. Sad moments number seven. <laughs> oh gosh, come on. Aggro him again. People can only stand around waiting for crap for so long. I'm just gonna punch your way. Oh, let's go get him.
Everybody move forward. Unless you're slow as heck like these idiots. Jack, run! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's check people's health. Not even close. Alright, so we have Seth who's going to have a really bad day with their injuries. <laughs> Prioritize suppressing him. He doesn't need any medical attention. <laughs> All right, and then you have a gunshot wound. Just tend to yourself real quick. Oh, you can go ahead and stop your bleeding. Well, that went pretty well. And we got the second thing, so we can make the bandwidth pack now. Oh, uh, yeah, we have a space planned out. If we do have a spot for vampires, vampires we will have. need to make another hospital bed. A couple more, actually. <laughs> this is your first time seeing a Diabolus. That was terrifying. You should have seen earlier when we fought one when it came through here. That was awful. That just went about as bad as it could go. Yo. Neanderthals? Of course they're Neanderthals. Right at a time where we have no way to stop them other than brute force. Alright, is anybody still bleeding actively? Nobody? Sounds awesome. Let's go. Let's meet them where it's easier to fight them. What is going on? One's trying to crawl around. Gets swarmed by robots while he crawls across the ground. Oh, the horror. Oh, this went wonderfully. We did want people to capture, so I think that this is just swell. Um, is there any more? Is that it? Well, um... If people could do us the honor of capturing folks at the moment. You think that? He, they tried to raid us, and now they see us capturing their friends. And he's running at us with a knife. He's realized how bad this has gone. <laughs> oh, the mistakes. No, we're taking all of your friends. Come at me, bro. You don't get to win here. <laughs> oh man, take that one too.
Where's Neo Warp? Send him over there. I want him over there as some medicine to take care of these fools. Who else is good at doctoring? Seth, why don't you make your way over there too? Guidonia has my rifle. Guidonia is going to need to tend themselves. Yeah, we're all right. Seth needs to self tend though, so. Looks like Ramen has passed away. I'm joking. <laughs> Clockwork Builder has passed away. Clockwork, no! <laughs> Oh, it's because there's one more. <laughs> yeah! Take care of him for me. <laughs> that was so ridiculous. Health check. Oh, you can use the comma and period keys to quickly swipe through your people, by the way. If you wanted to check for uh, bleeding or, or anything like that. gonna die are you not willing to tend what kind of useless piece of crap he's watching for targets instead of tending tend 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 man some of the bugs in 1.5 make me lose all of my marbles are you just... Yeah, you're watching for targets, too. Okay. Thank you. Wait, no. Without medicine... All my marbles. <laughs> this is my first time encountering this one. It's usually a, it's this bad timing. That sensory mechanite's pain is pretty bad, and his blood filtration has dropped a bit. You want your charge gun back? <laughs> We got a bit of cleaning to do about the colony at the moment. Alright, you're all good. Wanna rescue you, Seth, real quick. What is that? There is another one? Where are you all coming from? Is there any more of you? Very suspicious. <laughs> Is this one savable? No. How about this one? No, oh, we're keeping this one. It's the queen sweeper following the blood trail on the ground.
All right. How you doing? Why don't you go over here and do the smoke leaf? Yep. It helps out a bit. Eat some food. That helps out a bit. And then send you to bed. And that is a mental break avoided right there. The dog got hurt pretty bad too. That dog got hurt very bad. But we're attending to you, Matasia. We're going to do our best for you. <laughs> Just Queen sits there next to the bleeding out plon, sucking up the blood on the ground. <laughs> we'll return people their firearms here in a bit. Piers is still dead, ready to be eaten by the colony. We're starting to have quite a few horses. Alright, Petro, if you want to just go and do some smoke leaf real quick, that probably help you out. And it looks like clockwork is getting resurrected. The sweet doggo is over here, getting better, slowly. Got hurt pretty bad, though. The patrolling robots. Tips for volcanic winters, as long as there's a roof over your dudes, you're good. If you watch our farming guide that's coming out probably tomorrow sometime, uh, you'll learn how to do indoor farming and how to grow trees inside. Yeah, we're covering this stuff. It is very true the dog could get an infection, but no one else was tending to him at the time. So the dog is getting as tended as the dog can get at the moment, unfortunately. We gotta get a proper hospital built here soon. Gotta repair the aggro hand too. Because you don't think right, Petro. Your brain isn't straight. It needs to be fixed more. Fixing you. Until then, we're keeping you away from people that you could bother. You started a social fight and got your butt walloped right before a Diabolus walked. The Diabolus was like right here and you started a fist fight over here. It was bad. Naughty. Oh yeah, the, the ground where the zone where the heal root was got messed up, didn't it? Put some heal root right here. Petro want his chargey back. You want your charge gun back? Or who has it right now? Oh, uh. Guidonia has it. Guidonia shouldn't have this gun. Guidonia's, yeah. Alright, you can have it back. Put that down, you. You can go uh, pick something else up. Where's that uh, chain shotgun at? There we go. Mm. 
exotic goods trader is passing by. Let's go on that one. Do you like me an exotic goods trader? All right, who is the best speaker here? Petro, come on over here. What happened to the queen sweeper? sell too. Ooh, good stuff. Get an extra Gowerlin seed. Artistic. That gives recreation. That gives mining. We don't need any of those. We do have a jump pack. Jump packs are pretty good. I do like jump packs. We'll take a jump pack. Faster legs. Was there a prosthetic? Was there Argo egg somewhere? Did I just totally miss that? Oh, a Pollock seed. Very expensive. <laughs> There's a liver here. Someone needs one. Oh, this is what you guys were talking about. That's for growth pat and sore stuff. Female, female, two. So we have two horses. Got to make up the difference somehow here. Sell the extra seed. We do have a couple extra basic subcores. I guess we don't have to sell you. <laughs> Bro cohort. Yeah, we need to make more stuff. It's a lot of wasters. abandoning children. Let's go. We'll deal with them. All the Militors are in good shape. Hey, Jackson. How you doing, kiddo? Was a good idea to grab you. Let's throw you a bolt-action rifle, kid. <laughs> Alrighty. Load up, people. Oh, they're gonna mortar us? Oh, shoot. All right, let's go, outside. Did you get your bolty? Go get your bolty, kid. We don't really need EMPs for this fight. Uh, why don't you also go get a bolt action rifle? If you guys can't shoot a rat, we're all gonna die. All right, get back here. Are they still building their mortars? All right. Time to play.
Oh, that hurt a lot, didn't it? Oh, yes, it hurt bunches. Yeah, mortars are not fun to be on the other end of. No, nope, just keep moving. Get up in there. Lift her down. Who's the impin? Impin needs to get in there and spit at them really fast. Find the tree. Get in there close and spit fire on them. Make them all run around. Come on. Back up, Neil Warp. People are going to die from this, for sure. <laughs> Get my butt in there. <laughs> Who threw grenade when? Where? Where's that at? Right there? Move Neo over. Oh, you're here. How wonderful. Uh, come to the other side of the map. <laughs> Can't you see we're busy? Come on, melee. Need people that can melee. Is that a, just a tox grenade? That's not the end of the world. caught up in melee blocking so they can't hit back oh Godonia is just not doing a good job of self tending at the moment yeah, Godonia is probably going to die guys it's worth it to save a child though Don't let him shoot another round. Don't let him shoot another round. Are you unwilling? One of our bots is down. Health check. Tend yourself, mate. Tend yourself, mate. Health check, all pawns. How's Seth doing? Where are you at, Seth? You slept it out, Seth? Oh, Seth can't walk. <laughs> this is getting scary. <laughs> Cyber, all your friends are, are outside fighting for their lives, and Seth is uh, taking a nap. He's going to collapse before he can finish. He needs to get over there quickly. Uh, how's Neo Warp doing? Neo Warp has more time, so Neo Warp, just get over here quickly. Uh, you're going to walk too slow as 10 yourself, he said. You caused the most damage here. Uh, you're not leaving.
Hurry up and get up to Gudonia, please. Neo Warp is still tending. No immediate danger anymore. No immediate danger for you anymore. How are you doing, Petro? Doing all right. <laughs> yeah, getting mortared is really rough. All right, Godonia is the biggest risk at the moment. How's Billy doing? Billy is on his way over. What was that? Oh crap, there's a medicine right there. Pick it up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. losing his marbles. You guys need to finish one of these pat Guidoni is not gonna make it. What did he do? He went berserk? They're all getting over there. You just need to hold out for yourself for a minute. Petro, get over there. Why'd you stop tending him? That probably killed Gadonia. This weird, dumb bug where if they're drafted, they just won't do the tend. You gotta beat Neo or he's our doctor. We're not going to do it in time. We don't have enough time to finish this 10. Yeah, because he patched the torn out first. <laughs> How's Matasia doing? All the droids are on their way over to help boss brought. Neo Orp's okay. All right, go and 10. The child wasn't worth it, you don't think so? Good, don't you die to save a child? Bad trade. Sometimes we have more morals than we expected to have. All the bots came to make sure their leader didn't fall. I mean, if you look at the skill difference here, we have all the constructoids now, so we don't really need a builder. This kid is another combatant. If you ask me, it was an excellent trade. I'm too good a person for a world. <laughs> Neanderthals? All right, let's go, boys. Anybody that can walk should probably make their way over to the group of bots that are still standing. Or hide inside. Oh, there's traitors here.
<laughs> you hurry up and take care of your friend. You back inside. We'll get Codonia later. Thrombos? It's all converging! The moment of ultimateness! Karis is still war call berserk guarding the other horses. It wasn't even worth capturing that one, they're not gonna make it. This is where the mortar landed, isn't it? Yeah, the roof got smashed here and took out the shelving. Someone needs to get down here and rescue Reaper real quick. Nutmeg is not dead yet. Nutmeg is just downed. Collapsed. Looks like he overdid it, mate. Uh, Jackson overdid it, too. Oh, no, the kid will take care of you. Alright, how many of you guys are drafted that don't need to be drafted? Okay. Billy's on his way back in a daze. And the bots aren't coming with. Alright, take Reaper back. Looks like we're not going to have the bots for this fight. Who's got an infection? Neo Warp? We're already on it, though. Won't be too bad. Looks like they're waiting for the traders to leave. Make your way to bed, Nutmeg. Catatonic. Yeah, we've had a lot of bad stuff to affect their moods. <laughs> Alright, here we come straight into the traders. This will actually be kind of nice. We're going to get a bunch of free stuff. Unless they're going to go for this group first. I know nutmeg needs food. Jackson is seven years old. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I don't know how to give you a sandwich. Don't don't die. <laughs> this is a dumb kid. All right, Reaper, can you get up? No? All right, Petro. Go smack some go juice and get to work. What do they got for us here? We need the air wire anymore. How'd that go for you guys? How'd you guys like that? How'd you guys like that? Didn't think we would make it through that one, did you? Did you? Oh my gosh. So many infections. Neo Warp, you gonna get up soon? How about you, Seth? You gonna get up soon? Oh, Neo Warp's the one that has the infection. How's it going? He'll be fine. As long as nobody gives him another absolutely crap 10.
who, where the heck, who is supposed to? Okay, Petra's getting normal medicine. All right. I know we're working on it. He's gonna be fine. How about Neo Warp? We'll see about Neo Warp. It's still uh, up in the air on Neo Warp. Petro is indeed thinking wrong, and Guidonia is not here to correct his misthinking anymore. Truly is unfortunate. Luciferium's not fixing this one. Too many injuries. Can I strip Neo just in case? <laughs> Neo's uh, problems aren't bad enough yet. I will give Neo Luciferium before I let him die. We got deep into the base, didn't we? How are the prisoners doing? It will make two people. And it gives us half a year instead of a whole year to go find more Lucy. But that's still 30 in-game days to go get Lucy, so... All the bots are just gonna fall down over here. They don't know what to do without their leader. Reaper needs to find a way to stand soon so the bots can start putting the base back together. Let's go! base comes back to life. Alright, bed rest is still most important, so definitely go way back down if you can. It destroyed the table. They have to eat without a table because the table got bombed out. Is Seth standing yet? Seth is still not standing. But I think what we could do... I know what we could do to get Seth standing again, I think. Come along, ye. And then also feed him. Are you going to feed? Are you capable of that? Will you feed him? He's hungry. You should be able to get up sooner now. Seth, you are no longer assigned bed rest. Instead, Seth, your job is to make sure Neo Warp doesn't die. So go clean the hospital.
Man, the fabrication bench got blown out too. All right, yeah, he's gonna be totally fine. How about you? It depends still. When's the next 10? Three hours? We're at a red lining it with you, buddy. Oh, you passed. Neil Warp will live as long as we tend him in time. Is that Billy's going to his room? Man, mortars hitting the main core of the base really sucks. Broke a lot of stuff. They really wanted to go for damage. Gotta keep him going. Gotta watch very close. One hour, point nine hours. a much better tent. All right, Neo Warp's gonna be fine too. Does anybody else have an infection I totally didn't notice and forgot about? Your fabrication bench. If next tent on Neo is 30%, he will live. Oh yeah, still, still watching closely though. <sighs> How's your infection going in that right leg? You're gonna be okay, Reaper, okay. Better and better. You should be immune now. Yep. Alrighty, let's go. Let's uh, finish that up real quick. What's the damage? My gosh, most of the bots are really damaged. There we go. The only one we lost was our leader. We got another good fighter too, so it's where a rough trade. Because uh he died so you won't do construction? Alright, shit. <laughs> hey Jaco died too. You'll get revived though, you're a bot. So much violence. Train man. Clover is dead. No, I'm joking. <laughs> All in that assault rifle, too. We don't want to leave any firearms behind. Well, the wall is coming along really nicely. beating up their corpses. He's pretty upset about how things went, isn't he? He's just kicking all the dead bodies. He's really upset about how that went. Did he have a good relationship with, uh, Gwydonia? Colonist left. His friend is dead. Yeah, he is upset about it. He's very upset about it. <laughs> He's salty. Okay. <laughs> that explains things. They killed his friend. Let's put it this way. I think this is cathartic for Reaper over here. Reaper needed this. It's the only way he could feel better. He's very upset about how that went. You got some catharsis now? Yeah, you feel better now, don't you? Yeah. Doesn't bring him back though. Why don't you bring back that beer for people? I think they'll like that. I think they'll appreciate you doing that for them. You can go get a... Well, I guess uh, you can go repair Clover first here. Mm. 
psychic drone low. We're going to have to do a lot to keep people from losing their minds here for a little bit. Been through a lot, Seth, I understand. But I can't let you leave like that. Oh! Everybody's having a mental breakdown right now. It's okay, Seth. It'll all be okay, Seth. I was bringing you a beer, Seth. Did you know that? I was going to give you a booze. It's okay, you can have it later. I know you didn't mean it, Seth. I know you didn't mean it. You guys ate all the food in there, didn't you? Chris, you'll feed the colony. You'll feed us with your flesh. They really are eating all the food in here, though. We'll set that to hold open real quick. Uh, Billy, come stand here. They'll wander in here and start eating the random plants. See? See, they'll come out and we'll have to rope them again. They're just gonna eat a bunch of psychoid. Fill their bellies. They don't all eat hay grass, but yeah, we'll plant some for sure. Then they go back. Good animals. Now you guys know, little tricks for RimWorld, huh? <laughs> the kid's drawing everywhere. <laughs> Won't they get heck heck on it? You're still alive on the <laughs> I think they're just fine. I don't think it affects their health at all. No, they just eat it. I mean, because look at all the preparation work our pawns have to do for it to be worth anything. Isn't this peaceful, guys? After all that stress, don't you think? It's kind of peaceful. So how do you guys feel about today's events? You once had a kid start drawing in a nuclear reactor room from Dove's Rum Atomic. Problem was the reactor was currently in meltdown because stuff happened. Oh man. Munch, munch greens. Where's the devil's strand? We haven't grown it yet. <laughs> What's this song called? It's been stuck in your head for many hours. This song is called Sold On You by Oxjack. Because more than one bed turns into a barracks. Yeah, pretty good stream. This stream was wild, yeah. Let's look at the history tab real quick. Look at that density right there. Enemy raid, enemy raid, enemy raid, enemy raid. Four raids all together. And oh man, it pushed down our wealth a bit. Orange is the pawn wealth, right? 
or the blue, I mean. If you see our wealth by creatures just fell through the floor. We've went back to day 112, so we lost a half a year's worth of progress in terms of co human value in the colony. Man, those bodies are starting to stink. Yeah, a lot of fun so far. We got a lot of building to do right now. A lot more cleaning up to do in the colony here. We can keep going for a bit. <laughs> Neo's catatonic. Well, at least you waited for me. That's not bad. You go ahead, Neo. Take your nap. Catatonic breakdown can last half a year in game. Maybe a while. It's all right. It's, the only problem is if Reaper goes catatonic. Reaper can't be allowed to lose his marbles. We're gonna have to send someone out there to collect the bots that need to charge. There's no rechargers available. All in use, all in use. The traps are done though, so the base is secure again once the walls are repaired. There's only a couple holes to patch. Getting all the animals rounded back up. All the bots are getting their repairs done. Oh, Omega Mabit, how's it going? Are we streaming tomorrow? Well, Taco Mancer, we didn't actually hit the quota for the stream today, so I think I'm supposed to get the day off tomorrow. Because we're supposed to get uh, 50 bucks a stream to keep the daily streams going, and we only hit 11 bucks today. So, looks like I get a break on my Saturday. Tox waste, I'm really good at taking care of that. So if you look right here, it's, that's where our tox waste is. Very efficiently managed and put away. Oh my god. <laughs> Orbs. <laughs> We're going to keep streaming for another 40 minutes till the end of this hour of the day. So there's still a chance we might hit the hit the quota and be streaming tomorrow. We'll see. Bit of pollution never killed anybody. <laughs> Can't kill Nubert. Too tough. Got too many hours in RimWorld. Yo, Jack, what's up? How's it going? Psylink, Hyperweave, Advanced Components, Psylink, Neuroformer. I don't really feel like fighting pigskins right now. We got a mess to clean up. See you later, Petro. Getting your first tattoo? What are you getting, Clockwork? What are you going to get? Where you get, what are you getting and where are you getting it? Look at him go. We're busy. Carve. So for those of you that don't know, we're busy mining out the entire map for our base. Dice arrow on your inner right form. That's a spot if there ever was one. It's not as bad as getting it on your knee or the back of your hand. We still haven't had them find any steel on the map, so I think what I'm going to do... We're just going to go to production. 
We're just going to make one of these things. We'll slap it right here for now. And then we'll just move it around because I think you can move. I think we can move these. So we'll just carry it around the map. The thing that stinks though is getting power to them, so we'll be running power everywhere. Yeah, searching with the Z button's really good. Inner L dice sword. Oh. TTRGG's in 78. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a 90s kid, so. Young beggars wish for aid. Where are they at? Yo, 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 yo. What's, what's your major malfunction, buddy? He's okay on that. He's just not had any recreation. Instantly feel your recreation. Solves all his problems. Enslave the beggars. Where are they from? Uh, we're allied with these people, so I guess we shouldn't do that. Man, 56 herbal medicine. For what? Yeah, we're not helping you. We lost our a leader. We already adopted somebody. Cost us quite a great deal. Smart kid's been reading a lot. Did you guys notice that? Jackson's been reading a lot of books. You started with Gamma World, not D&D? Oh. It's Jim Ward, who wrote it, passed away Wednesday. Dude, I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. And the writer passed away last month. That was a big move. That was a blow. They are asking for too much. How you doing, Seth? Everything gets better with a little bit of uh, go juice. Neo warp. I thought you were catatonic. <laughs> Man, Toonami. That's a uh, that takes me back. Our dog's on fire. Yeah, all the corpses everywhere is making everyone upset. The funeral not being done yet is making everybody upset. We're going to send uh, you to go and prioritize calling our buddy here to be buried. That'll help us with one thing. Matasia will be fine. It's just a couple burns. Fish will be fine. It's one of the queen sweepers is down. That's partly what's going on. Getting uh, our colonist over here buried will help us out a lot. Gridonia. Wrong way, mate. Are you refusing to bury our dead pawn? Have to put them in the stockpile first? Of course you do. Of course we have to throw them in the toxic waste pit first. Why else would we do it? Can I bury my pawn? Can I bury my pawn? Am I allowed to bury my pawn? My goodness, game! I have to assign the grave. I should just be able to give it to whoever. I should be able to just give it. I should just be able to right click bury colonists like this. I don't need this assign it. It's never been a thing before. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. Let's go grab that mech out of there. Alright, everybody feels a lot better after that when you can see all the moods are way less snappy looking. <laughs> We're going to carry Clover off to the recharger. They'll put out the fire eventually. Not too worried about that one. All right, how are you doing, Templar? Need some food in you? On the way back with that one. All righty. Yeah, Max can't catch on fire. They're fine. Well, they they can, but they're burn temp is so darn high. Alright, let's get uh, you selected and move to group 2. All the mechs should be pretty repaired now. Alright, cool. One of the bots is losing it. Not with a weapon, huh, Neo Warp? We need a tanker pawn. We need a pawn that's really good at melee to give a club to to deal with these prisoners because I don't want to shoot them. It was so much work to catch them. Why would we want to punch them? <laughs> would make sense. Alrighty. Don't want to melee damage them. Eh, I'll give you your thing later. Alright, you two, come along. This is a good time to show you guys how this stuff actually goes. I'll leave these guys to their thing. So you guys can actually get a learning experience from why I design it this way. Oh, well, Locust is just going to kill people. I forgot. It's not a prison escape. <laughs> Coming back. Returning. gonna push this door, huh? Gosh darn it. Yep. You know what? We got something fun, though. On Templar. Honestly, we should give this to Neo Warp, though. Neo Warp stands to make the best use of it. So if you wouldn't mind putting that down, we'll have Neo Warp put that on. For those of you that were wondering, uh, Neo Warp is our resident doctor, and having a doctor that can do stuff like this is just really helpful. You know? So... <laughs> Makes it a lot easier to keep ourselves going here. All right, why don't you go reload your junk pack for some chemicals. All righty. And it's time for the corn harvest. Stone chunks are getting done. Good job, kid. And I do believe it's time we get that hospital built. Before all that though, we need to get this wall repaired. Very important to get the wall repaired. 
We're not really much in a position right now to be having too many issues. Here's Locus. Yo, Badger, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. See you later, Nutmeg. See you later. Yeah, they can't, but that one was literally just standing on top of the fire fish. <laughs> this one right here is fine. You see, the fire doesn't really hurt him. Bullets do, though. I'll send uh, Reaper to get them in a bit when there's a free mech charger. Slowly getting done with that recon armor. Once everybody has recon armor, the risk of injury to pawns will go down so much. Jackson got his bedroom with no lights. Well, when it gets to about here, when the when the pollution touches the wall, I will then build a solution to the pollution problem, but not before. Because I'm not building any further this way anyway, so I don't care. On the topic of doors, though, we ought to put one right here for the haulers, just to save ourselves a pile of time. Get ourselves a bunch of psychoid. <laughs> All right, let's hop on over here. Let's go to this. Let's go to the make bandwidth pack. Let's see who our best crafter is. And that's Billy. Missing one corpses. Missing 50 steel, so that's what we need. Alrighty. Manageable enough. That puts us at 25. That's 40, so we gotta do one more. Alright, now if you would, wouldn't mind going ahead and making us that bandwidth pack. For Reaper here. And who would be upset would be Seth. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. These guys are gonna be set to dormant self charge. We're gonna carry this lifter to the neck charger. Alright, Reaper, why don't you go and put on that bandwidth pack for us. Look at all the extra bot slots we just got. <laughs> so we can now build seven, eight. We can build ten more bots. Ten more. Ten more robots. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it glorious? Let's build another lifter first. Let's throw that up there. If we want to build a lifter... Uh, let's see. We don't really need any more Constructoids. Uh, let's do a Lifter, an Agrahand on both. About to make a small army. We're gonna get our, our our labor taken care of at the very least, and honestly, we can actually go over here and make the larger version of the gestator now. And if you go and look at our research of standard mech tech here, what that unlocked for us is pikemen, scorchers, scythers, but specifically the tunneler who can dig for us, do a lot of digging. The Mech Commander Helmet is a good helmet. It gives us six bandwidth and gives him head armor. 
Mech Commander is definitely something worth building. I believe it's built at the fabrication bench, which has been smashed. Mm. Throwing a tantrum over here, huh? You need to break stuff, make yourself feel better, smashing things. Everything we got going on right now is uh, vanilla. This is just 1.5 vanilla. Mr. Krabs can hit like a truck. <laughs> the big corn haul is done. I'm gonna have to set this to allow corn. We don't have enough space for corn elsewhere. We should still have a bot laying down over here. Yes, we do. We'll send you to carry him to the recharger. I think at that point we will have collected all of our bots back. Good stuff. And so now all we have to do is get a good source of steel going. That's the next thing on our list here. The hunt for Dark Speaker. I feel like these are like anime weapons. We have Dark Speaker. What was the other one? Passage. Oh, no. Clockwork, you're off. Promise the housemate we could hit the store for post B day shopping. Absolutely. This is a lot of corn. We're going to sell it all for monies. Big amount of it. That's what we got horses for, for hauling corn. we can't cycle our mechs like this. There's no hotkeys for mech cycling. Looking through your mechs. so much stuff to haul. There we go. My business is corny. I think my business works well enough even if it is uh, a bit corny. <laughs> the Empire wants to has taken damage is seeking for a place to land. You give us some honor and shuttle loot. We didn't even get the shuttle loot from last time. What's in here? Someone come deconstruct this. Neo warp, come tear this apart. Maybe we'll get some steel out of it. I forget what these drop. Yeah, you get some plast steel from these things. Oh, it won't let us jump over walls now? Lame! Lame! I want to launch over walls. That'd do it, won't it? Let's uh, queue up some heating elements for our hallways here.
well. That would also do it, wouldn't it? Everybody inside. Fire, but you're cold. That's interesting. Finish it off. Finish it. taking a while. This is taking a while. <laughs> we have so much, it's okay. We, we have plenty. It's 370 meat per one of these. Our fridge is full. We've been putting corn in normal storage. Kind of got a little too much stuff at the moment. He has a really weak punch. Yes, he does. Maybe he got stronger doing that, though.